Park was actually so freaking pumped to play Hanzo that he wanted to do a little fun stream, so we kind of put this together last second. And uh, now he is here to actually answer your questions and also show us what a good Hanzo player can do, because I know a lot of us in the community are still learning it a little bit. Yeah, I know. He's a, he's a little bit trickier to play. You know, if you've played a lot of Ana, you know how it goes. you got to land all of your skill shots. Mm -hmm. And so similarly with Hanzo, you really got to be on point with those scatter arrows, with those storm bows, and weaving in your basic attacks, which have a longer timer. So there's definitely a higher learning curve to Hanzo. But I think once you unlock all that potential, he's quite devastating. Well, if you guys at home actually want to get beat up here uh, by Centauric with his Hanzo, we're going to do some custom games with you guys playing. So go ahead and hop in the channel. Let's go ahead and do uh, join slash Hanzo. Super easy. We'll join the party here on the bottom right. Uh, we'll go ahead and invite you guys in, but I'm going to let you pick the first map. Right, right. Yeah, uh, sir, let's do uh, Infernal Shrines. Nice, pretty pretty standard map. Mm -hmm. um, and how are we finding people? Sorry, I'll let We're you. We're going to go <laughs> right here. Okay. Join Hanzo. Ha There's a Hanzo Mains? I, yeah, I made a channel last night, Hanzo Mains. Okay, we're changing Ooh. it up. We're going to Hanzo, Hanzo Mains. Mains. Yeah. How so many did you recruit? Uh, I, I don't know. I f See, I feel like with every person that I slay as Hanzo, I've made a new Hanzo Main. It's kind of like the Chogal virus, right? Wow. And so, yeah, so hop into the channel, Hanzo Mains. Wow, we already got one right there. to get you guys uh, in the game. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and get uh, Valdrum in here. Uh, so we're also going to be asking questions about the hero and what he does well. So let's go and get one started here while we wait for people to show up. Uh, this is actually coming from Twitter. Um, it's actually talking about the trait, because the trait is very similar to Genji's. What inspired mm, yeah, the trait? Where yeah. did it come from? And was there any other ideas of what to do with Hanzo? Right, no, absolutely. So we, we wanted to get some of that wall climbing feel from Overwatch into uh, the Nexus, but you know we don't have that 3D verticality. We mm. don't have that kind of same sense of collision. But we also loved what we were doing with Scatter Arrow and the way that it, it cared about collision and ricocheting off of that. And we wanted to show all these lines, and so we thought, could we play with that some more? So we actually tried a few different things. Um, one of the first things that we tried that was pretty hilarious is um, we had a trait that allowed him to perch on top of a tower or a town hall or a, <laughs> really? a fort or a keep. And then he'd get ex extra range off his Q and W. So he would, like, snipe. Yeah, exactly. Um, it sounds really awesome. We were really geeked up on it. We put it in the game, and wow, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> you sat there and had no one to shoot at or anything? Yeah, exactly. It, you were you were completely immobile. You were uh, locked into place. You couldn't really do anything. And so it ended up being just not that fun. And so we're like, oh, dang, that sounded really cool, too. I mean, we thought about ways we could tweak it to try to make it better. But uh, it ended up because you could only use it defensively. Yeah. Um, and then usually when you're on the defense defending a siege, like it's hard to you know land good solid poke repeatedly to become meaningful. And so sure. it just ended up becoming like a feel bad moment most of the time. So we we took a look again to see if we could do something like this. And you know we're looking at Genji and his cyber agility. Mm -hmm. We're like, well, Hanzo's his brother. Um, maybe we could do natural agility to kind of you know play off those, sure. those brothers. And so so it's, so it does share a lot of similarities too cyber agility but it is you know natural agility so it has a drawback that it requires some train but otherwise the range is kind of similar the cooldowns roughly similar and well you know obviously um as hanzo gets played more and more we'll make any adjustments that we need to to the range and cooldown and speed of the jump just to follow up on that was there any fear that people would be like this is too similar to genji and <laughs> you have to change it or is it just uh, something i mean with? his play style is so different from genji right sure. you know doesn't have swift strike let's just start there yeah uh, that's, that's so true immediately the way he plays is differently and so we've noticed this with abilities where you can take the same ability and put it on a completely different kit, and it plays completely differently. You know, Hanzo u mostly uses this as a defensive measure to get out, um, and so finally, you know, um, using it more as a defensive tool plays completely different from you know uh, cyber agility, where you're using a lot to like chase down and secure those kills. Sure. Yeah. Awesome. Well, so far he's been a lot of fun. I know a lot of us are learning them. If you were to actually just tell one player, listen, this is what you need to do as Hanzo. What would you say? Oh man, I'd say you need to land your skill shots. Absolutely. That simple. That easy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's that easy. Hey, well, that can take a lifetime to master. I'd, I'd also say you got to learn the battlegrounds. Mm -hmm. um, you have, you're going to have to learn the terrain for each battleground. So one of the um, unmentioned patch notes uh, for this patch was that actually we updated all the battlegrounds pathing lines. Um, because we're now showing them, we wanted to smooth them out a little bit. And also because of the way that um, Hanzo's stuff works with it, we wanted to you know, kind of make it a little bit more smoother because, you know, with a jagged edge, you can get a lot of unpredictability sure. into where your scatter is going to go. And so, um, you know, we went through every map and tried to kind of smooth out some of those rough edges. Um, what was also really cool is that um, the engineer who created it, uh, his name's Andy Thorne, big shout out to him. 
um, who worked on this Ricochet tech. Uh, I shouldn't say just him created it. I know Andy Bond also did a lot of work on it, uh, laying the foundation. Team Andy Thorne, yeah, brought it to the, the conclusion, is that we noticed that on those like 90 degree angles, you get this weird, you know, if you're aiming at this side, it's going to ricochet there, but then as soon sure. as you're around the corner, you're going there, and it's just this dramatic, like, um, if you, if, uh, for any of you who love uh, higher level physics like I do, call it chaos theory, you know, where the raindrop lands on the mountainside and ends up <laughs> thousands of miles away. Sorry, I love physics. No, you're therapeutic um, when you talk about this stuff. It's crazy. It's good. <laughs> um, so what we're actually doing is um, we're simulating a rounded edge. And so what we do is we, we kind of do like a little bit of sampling and we look at the angle um, around that where you're hitting the ricochet and we sure. kind of do an, a, uh, a, an average of those angles and it gives the effect of making the um, the, the reflection arrows. And I'll show this when we're in game. You can see how they kind of round rather than just do a dramatic jump. And it really can help a lot and help make those scatter arrows a little more reliable for Hanzo. Gotcha. And that's new tech, right? Like that Yeah, that is hot new tech that we just got in for this. It um, it took <laughs> it took a it took a little bit of blood, sweat, and sure. tears to get that in, um, but that was something we were really excited to do because it just really changes the way you look at the battleground. Um, and as Hanzo, um, one of the things I really like it did is to kind of reflect from Overwatch is that as Hanzo, you really want to be near walls. Yeah, which is very similar to Hanzo in Overwatch, right? You want to be able to wall climb away. You want to be able to fire your scatter arrows off those walls. And so similarly in, in the heroes, you really want those walls for your natural agility. You really want them for your scatter arrow. So speaking about scatter arrow, while we're on this, and this is actually another question that came from the community. Um, when it comes to scatter arrow, we kind of expect the Hanzo that just shoots it at your feet, gets a <laughs> kill. Sometimes he randomly shoots you from across the map. And yeah, yeah, yeah. admittedly, that feels like that's kind of missing here with this Hanzo. Right. No, but it, it's it totally was. Yeah, it was actually very intentional. We um, we really wanted to make the the scatter arrow very much something that you knew was coming for or for a reason. And we wanted Hanzo. We wanted the Hanzo player to feel rewarded for lining up good sure. shots. Whereas if we just allowed it to always auto detonate, it kind of becomes almost like every other skill shot in our game. You're just gonna, you know, just the, throw it out. The mastery curve on it kind of flattens, right? You just you just fire the skill shot and you press the scatter button right before it hits them to kind of simulate that that foot shot. And so that's why we wanted to make it very reliant on the walls. So that way, as Hanzo, you feel reward you feel rewarded. And you feel like you played well, right? Yeah. Whereas if we had made it where you can almost re almost reliably always hit all five shots, we'd have to bring that damage down a lot, right? And so this allows you this allows us to kind of tune up the strength of it, right? And so. Well, we're getting a few more players in here. We're just gonna go straight into quick match. We needed, I think, four more. So if you want to play, we'll try and do customs right yeah, after yeah, this yeah. game. Join Hanzo mains. Uh, <laughs> but I'm kind of enjoying this discussion, right? Like, uh, Hanzo is just so interesting to me because I think he was my second love in Overwatch. Ana first one, and then Hanzo this one. Um, oh, yeah. Because I love the idea of just chunking people down. Um, the headshots randomly, sometimes I felt like a god. <laughs> um, but I will say, you and I were talking about it off screen, the level 20 play oh, of the game. play of the game, baby. Where did that come from? That is such a brilliant and fun idea. It's so exciting, even if you fail. Yeah, no, it's um, it's amazing. Uh, so we were trying to figure out level twenties are always like the hardest things for us to get. Sure, you know something awesome, cool, something that's not just cooldown reduction, mm -hmm. um, which is you know a very safe fallback that we actually did for Dragon Strike um, because it's like how do you make Dragon Strike more awesome, <laughs> right? That thing ends cinematics. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right. right. I, mean, I don't know how to upgrade that. Right? It's already <laughs> amazing. And so uh, we were looking at this, and we were like just tossing around words, and you know the idea of a, a play of the game talent. Like, well, we need a talent called play of the game, right? Sure. This is Hanzo, yeah, right. You know, he's famous for getting hilarious play of the games in Overwatch, and we really wanted to honor that. And so that's where we got this um, this idea of you know doing something ridiculous, very dramatic, and the idea of him teleporting to the arrow and then backflipping. Because there was also some feedback that like, man, I fire this long range arrow, but I'm no. In order to get that max stun, I'm nowhere near to follow up. Which yeah. It's great for my team, but I want to follow up. And so we have the mid-range stun that allows you to kind of do some of your own stuff. But then this teleport allowed us to really kind of step it up even more. And so that was what was really cool. I know for me, like, casting HTC, I am so ready for that first hype moment where someone yeah. flies across the map, jumps out, and just kills three people instantly. Yeah, totally, scatter arrow. totally. Um, let's see here. Oh. Someone left us. How dare they, man? Uh, let's get somebody else in here. Gray Wolves. Come on, Gray Wolves. Let's do this. Let's get a full Overwatch team going. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's running bow and arrows. We should do yeah. that. We should run a bow and arrow comp here. What do we got? Taronda, uh, Vala. Vala. Does that count? It's um, crossbows. Yeah, it's it, close it, enough. It counts, right? right? Yeah. Just need more archers. Diva oh, definitely, definitely has a bow. Diva. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. 
I'm sorry, Diva the Destroyer. Mm, yeah, you got to get that one right. Yeah, get that name right. Guess <laughs> Deathwing Diva. I mean, we can't hear. This is my screen. We can make things up. We're good you to go. You can say it. I we, don't think I we can. We can go all in. <laughs> uh, so let's see about this. Ooh, this one's actually uh, a really good question. The new terrain that you can now see visually, where you can bounce right, your scatter right, off, right. Uh, I believe it's on Junkrat now and Lucio. Correct. Is there any more heroes like Diablo, for instance, that we'll be able to see it with? Yeah, I'm I'm hearing that name Diablo a lot. Is there is there like a I can't? Is there anything in his kit that would interact with terrain? I mean, <laughs> I think so. I mean, maybe we'll hit yeah, a bam bam. Yeah, it's definitely something. Um, I will be going back because uh, we're we're streaming till noon or something like that. Sure. So probably about one o'clock after I finish my lunch, I'll go talk to some guys and see if we can turn it on for Diablo as well. I think it'd be. Uh, very welcome to all you Shadow Chargers out there. I think it would be. We definitely want to know if we're going like to slide a, across the wall like or not. Sounds like a good esports team named Shadow Chargers. Shadow Chargers. <laughs> Get on it. Somebody <laughs> in Europe will do it. I know it. They yeah, make that yeah, craziest yeah. name here. Uh, so, again, please let us know in chat if you have any questions. Uh, Centark is here for two hours, as he just said, to let you guys know. And, of course, join Hanzo Mains. Trick, why are you being so serious? Because this is, this is Centauric. This guy's a legend. <laughs> he created Murky. Like, this guy is an idol. For a lot of people. Murky, oh boy. Oh, geez. That, that, that's, a, that's a hard build I to mean, follow. <laughs> while I'm here, when are we getting Slime Advantage back? Uh, sl slime Advantage. I miss that talent. Like, no other man. That one Was that the one where uh, basic attacks against Slime targets do bonus damage? 200% thought... extra damage. Oh, gosh. You yeah, can punish insane. him. I thought we gave him something similar to that to make up for it. No? He's a CC no. machine. I mean, a 16, yeah. You can go, like, super crazy and all in a target, but I don't right. get that laning presence I used to have. That's true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That you, we won't, you won't even think about it. Oh uh, no! I'll, I'll I'll bring it up. I know we're having talks again about the Mercs. He's he's a tricky hero, right? Wait, you're having talks again about Murky? Well, you know, this is longer term talks. This is this is no longer a Hanzo stream. <laughs> we're gonna play Murky for the next. I mean, two hours. what if I just said the word Artanis? Would that also sh immediately like you know, just? It's like throwing a, a dog bone out at the dog who's barking at you. <laughs> I used to love Artanis, and then everyone started playing him. Yeah, he's, he, is he too mainstream for he's you? He's too mainstream now. Like yeah. I look at some streams Hipster and people tricks playing him. Only play non-mainstream heroes. Dude, that's a life. All right, we got a few more questions here. Uh, so, this one's actually really, really interesting. Did they ever consider making his W so that you could reactivate it on the ground so it hits in the face? We were talking about it earlier, but was yeah. that something that was talked about? I, I think it was. Again, it, that was brought up by a few of, of the other de you know designers. Like, hey, you know, in Overwatch, you can kind of hit the ground. It gives the ability a lot of reliability. Sure. Uh, and again, like our, our counter argument as we talked about it more and more was just that it kind of turns it into every other skill shot we have in the game. Sure. So, like, yeah, it has a cool reactivatable moment, but like. That's just reactivate to do a ton of damage in a, in a radius. And we wanted to kind of remove that randomness. We know that people don't like randomness. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've heard a lot of people talk about that. So we wanted to make this a very reliable ability and something that's going to do something that we can tell you what it's going to do. Now, the idea of doing a reactivatable skill shot is awesome. We can put that on a lot of different heroes sure. coming up in the future. So, you, you know, you might see that in new heroes coming forward. Um, but it's something we, with Hanzo, we felt like we had something cool with all the ricochet technology that we were getting from our engineers. Well, speaking of, we are almost at 75 heroes if i remember correctly are we, we are wow we are just climbing like crazy <laughs> i think pally and i were doing a show yesterday and we just realized that like you've been here for four years now working on the game i've worked on heroes of the storm for six years six years and yeah. we're now at a spot where we're almost at 80 heroes how bonkers is that it's it's pretty crazy there's a lot of heroes out there like we will um we'll like uh you know like when working on hanzo and alex Straza, we were like pitching ideas for their abilities and like no it's already in use you know it's kind of yeah. like uh uh simpsons did it you know kind of like uh, <laughs> sure. heroes already did it <laughs> you know like we've already got that ability isn't that just the same as you know so-and-so and it's like oh dang i didn't even, didn't even think about that <laughs> does that make your job that much harder like you yeah just you know, the, night, like, um, thinking about it yeah the <laughs> Yeah, I cry myself to sleep. Like you can't every sleep. Night. You're just like, gosh, I can't. I gotta make this hero. I gotta I got, figure I got, it out. I gotta get yet another new ability. No, actually, we have some really, really creative hero designers uh, in the bullpen who are amazing at sure. coming up with new stuff and new ways to do new skill shots. Like, um, like one of my favorites is actually Zuljin's Twin Cleave. Um, absolutely love that ability, especially once you unlock the spinners. That's what I like to call them. The spinners? Yeah, you know, after you get 150 hits. That's what I'm going to call it now. Yeah, the spinners, you know, where they double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is so awesome, especially with wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. You know, where if you hit them at the same and time. Leave like, that sound effect, dude. Yeah, that oh. sound effect is so mm. chunky. Shout out to our sound department. They make amazing sounds for this dude, game. Dude, the quest, like, I literally pick talents just to get the quest sound. Yeah. Like, I miss old yeah. Arthas with Frozen Tempest where it would hit every single ping instead of every five. Yeah. Like, those were good times. Did we, did we remove your dopamine rush? Yeah, you <laughs> like, I don't feel as uh, successful. Like, actually, yeah. when I finished Chromie's quest, I'm like, what's what's the point of playing this hero anymore? Like, it's <laughs> well, done. Well, hey, actually, no, but you still get the quest bangs for her because you you're still building up uh, Q damage, right? Yeah, that is true. Yeah. That is, uh, that is definitely uh, one of those things that's... um. 
you know, feels both way on the community where it's like, oh, I kind of wish this quest was done. Mm -hmm. So I can, you know, kind of just move on. But other people are like, no, I want it to go on forever. Yeah. It always feels satisfying when I hear that. You feel great, man. So it's definitely something we talk about a lot. So from DK Wings, so why did it make it punishing when landing W on a hero? Can you Ooh, clarify yeah. or do you understand? No, I, I, I know exactly what he's talking about. If your W hits a hero before it hits the walls, you don't get any scatter. Oh, and okay. So it's definitely part of the skill of the ability. Again, it's kind of like with Greymane. You can't hit a hero directly with your Q. You need that sure. blocker. Uh, it also means when you're fighting Hanzo, you don't want to be standing near walls. If you're standing away from a wall, it's going to be hard for him to hit you with multiple things. And if he hits you with just a W... You know, it, um, it's the same damage as a single scatter, scatter arrow. Sure. Okay. So that makes yeah. sense. No, it's definitely a very intention. Uh, you know, something we we call like you know very intentional limitations on the design of the hero about what they are capable of. Okay. Well, fair enough. There's your answer. Uh, from Void Insanity. So sent. That's your new uh, shortened name. Sent. Okay. Sent. <laughs> uh, why doesn't the mounted archery let Hanzo do an actual mounted archery? So maybe <laughs> charge his Q while he's on the horse. It's a funny story. That was actually something we tried <laughs> early on. Uh, we tried some. We tried some really wacky talents on Hanzo. Sure. Um, you know, a character like Hanzo is actually pretty hard to design talents for because he really um, does one thing, and that's damage. And so it's hard to design like twenty different talents that give you damage, Do more in, damage. in different ways, right? Because we don't want two talents that like, wow, that sound like the same talent, right? Sure. And so one of the things we tried um, was he does. Uh, hey, your Q does bonus damage to mounted targets. Yeah. That was that was pretty funny. And then we played it, and we're like, wow, this actually really sucks. Like, this talent... It's too hard to hit. Well, it, it means I pick a talent that has an effect twice in the game, right? Because mm. you're rarely uh, engaging a hero that is mounted. Like, if you... Uh, you know, it's not something you ever think about if you actually, like, watch a game and how many times you actually hit somebody who's mounted. You know, sure. It doesn't happen very often. Uh, but we did also try letting him use his Q while mounted, and, we, and, and that was kind of neat. Um, and then we... But then we're like, well, I kind of want all of his abilities to be usable while mounted. Sure. And then quickly we're like, well, that should just be a different hero. That yeah. should be a, her a, a hero one day that can use all their stuff while mounted. Let's save that for somebody else. Hanzo's already got like his uh, you know, identity in Overwatch. We wanted to respect that and preserve that. And we wanted to honor it here. And so we, we took it away because we're like, we got to either have it on everything or on nothing. And so... It was a tough decision. Sometimes you have to kill your really cool ideas because you're, you know, for the, the greater game. Well, you heard it here first. Genji and Hanzo have a third brother who is always <laughs> mounted and can only use his abilities by uh, mounted. How do I see the Hanzo main? See if we have uh, ten people. Oh, here we go. Oh, we there got we a go. Game. Yeah, F join us in channel Hanzo mains. By the way, we'd love to do some viewer games with you guys. You guys can style all over me while so, I'm playing Hanzo. I need to ask you before we go in, set expectations. Yeah. Are you one of those that have a hard time while talking? Why do you want to focus on the game a little bit? Or can I just pelt you with questions? You can pelt me with questions. I may not play as optimal as possible. I might go silent for a little bit. Yeah. While, an uh, while answering your questions, it's because I'm probably focusing on a, a, like a per perfectly lined up W. We can have a safe word. Like uh, the moment you're busy and you're focused, like muffin. Avocado. Avocado. So if avocado. you say avocado, avocado. you get 30 avocado. seconds of grace. Oh, I, I mean, I don't need 30. Let's, let's just make it five seconds. Five seconds of grace. Five. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, Brax is sold out. Is this going to be a good map for Hanzo? Uh, <laughs> there's no bad map. No, uh, <laughs> actually, um, Hanzo, oddly enough, when we were playtesting Hanzo, it was around the time when mm -hmm. we were about to release Hanamura. And so we were playing Hanamura internally a lot right before the release. Yeah. And ironically enough, Hanamura was actually not really good for Hanzo because it had so much open spaces. You oh, want a lot yeah. of those narrow corridors. He loves Tomb the Spider Queen. He loves Cursed Hollow. Brax's holdout's got a, a fair amount of... Um, uh, geometry to work with so one thing I, it's gonna be, uh hopefully we'll have a good top laner here um hanzo can top lane but i'd like to go bottom lane so i can stack up some of my quests here who do we have that can go top lane uh just let them know i mean okay well, just like hey can someone take top i mean yeah Toronto kind of can just hang out there and yeah actually she can, slowly. She, um, yeah. well isn't she like a really good duelist right? uh, she, can she can heal have herself moments. right her main issue is she just has no wave clear but i mean who cares i mean it's a quick match all right so i'm not going to go redemption because i have a zero tool Sure. Zero tool means I'll probably die a fair amount of times, so I don't want to continually be losing, you know, three stacks of redemption. So um, I do kind of want to go uh, simple geometry. I've heard uh, some people have been having troubles with this one, so let's let's see if we can show them how it's done here. All right, I'm ready. I want to see how this is done here. Okay, I got my spray set up. Okay, oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, this is my new favorite spray. Uh, Cartoon All Rock is my only spray, but here's my stupid brother, Genji, as I like to call him. Look at this. He needs healing, even as a cookie. Even as I a cookie, he needs healing. That's so cute. Yeah, it's really adorable. You guys think of everything, man. Yeah. All right, first fight of the game. Oh, I already got one ping. That's good. There you go. Oh, this Cassia uh, might be blocking a ton of my auto attack damage. Another good reason to not go the. Oh, zero tool. Oh yeah, I need to. I can tell I need to focus on <laughs> on the plane. Dude, do your focus. It's all good. So one thing that's awesome about the Q quest is that you can actually get um, 
So it's for every arrow beyond the first that you hit a hero. So if you hit a hero with all five, you'll actually get four quest credits. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas if you hit two heroes each with two, you'll get two quest credits because you've hit... Um... Oh, there we go. See, oh, got... juicy. Let's, uh, let's deny that Chromie her vision of that wall. That's something that you, you want to really be using that uh, sonic arrow a bunch just to be diving, uh, keeping an eye on everything. Yeah. I'm playing at like a slight angle, so it's <laughs> kind of weird. Um, if I need to move. No, 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 no. It's, it's cool. It's cool. I got you. Yeah. I want to keep you in, in the webcam, your, your very handsome face. Oh, man. I got a haircut. Oh, here we go. And oh, you're looking good. People then, be huh? hating. Yeah, man. Just super, super People short. be hating. People be hating. I didn't want to do anything yeah. with it, man. All right, another arrow coming out. It seems to be pretty easy, actually. You're laying a lot of Ws here with four people being down here. Yep. It's oh. it's it's helpful. These these four lanes are really good for questing heroes. Sure. So, like, Ana uh, can do pretty well at, like, stacking up her sleep darts if you're going sleep dart quest. Yeah. There we go. Got another quest credit on that Cassio. So, when you look at designing the hero... Oh, hang on. This is going to be an important moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Coming. I, oh. Oh, I totally misaimed that W. I think I hit that W on that Cassia. Yeah, another one of three. Easy mode. Oh, oh here we he's go. so dead. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, yes, got my obnoxious air horn in here. That was uh, one request I had. I was like, hey, can I ha keep my obnoxious air horn? Uh, using. Oh, no, my scatter arrow's not off cooldown. Rip. Oh, I was trying to use my trait for some aggressive uh, playing. Anyways, you're going to ask me about the, when designing a hero. Yeah, so when designing a hero, do you guys actively look for. Here's a moment where I want this character to power spike. I've been hearing a lot about Hanzo being strong in the late game. Mm -hmm. Is that something that was intended, or does that just kind of happen naturally? I think it, it happened because we put in the questing talents sure. at level one. So, I mean, this is just like kind of like a personal flair thing, but as a designer, I, I have fun with questing talents. I mm -hmm. think that they can create some compelling highs and lows for when you play a character. Sure. Uh, because, you know, you, you remember those games when you finish that, like, that Alarak triple quest yeah. at, like, level one. You remember that game. You do. Right? You know, that's a high that goes with you for a, a long while. That was a really bad... I, I actually don't know this geometry very well as Hanzo, so I really need to learn it. Oh, okay. We're in third grade math right now. We're not in high school math. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Rip. Oh, Indeed. the chromie too. All right. Um, but it, it's just kind of a natural consequence of doing a bunch of questing talents is that the hero ends up turning online uh, pretty later. They turn a corner sure. uh, when those talents get completed. Um, oh, I was going to say one thing. At level four at Hanzo, you have three really excellent wave clear uh, talents. In fact, I'm going to take this in case we want to go some bosses later. It also pairs well with this questing talent. Where'd that come from? Because those are all are for wave clear. Were you just like, this character needs wave clear? That's actually exactly what it was, is that we were early, uh, earlier in the development, we were trying to figure out, like, hey, how can we... Hanzo doesn't bring a ton to the team besides damage, and his wave clear wasn't very good before these talents existed. And we're like, okay, well, I think one of the things that we need Hanzo to be able to bring to the team is to bring a form of wave clear. Sure. Uh, just because he's already he already had enough, like, kind of weaknesses. Dang, I hit the W on the Varian that we needed to shore up one of those weaknesses. And we're like, you know what? It's okay if he has wave clear. Like, that's something that he can have. Because that's something you... Um, dang, I almost got a Cassio. From what I'm getting already with your Hanzo gameplay is that oh. you are doing a lot of grill tactics, it seems like. You're poking in and out, doing circles, coming back, waiting for your cooldowns, yep. going in for another poke. Uh, a lot of people try to work in auto attacks. Do you kind of... Yeah, I, 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 I get... I mean, I'm, I'm trying to work them in there. Sure. Just, you know, an A click here and there. Oh, get the chromie. Oh, it's working. Oh, oh so close. Oh, whoa, she finished her W quest already. Holy cow. W build chromie? Mm, we need to ban her. Who does that? Oh, boy. Oh, oh, man, I was trying to... Almost got this. That's what I got the fog horn for. Uh, I was trying to, so what, one thing you could do with this trait. He's a better streamer than I am. He's already got side effects <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, so one of the things with the trait, so you have to jump over terrain. Yeah. But it doesn't mean you have to always go across it, right? Sure. And so what I was trying to do, if you can see my mouse cursor here, in fact, um, I'm going to increase my mouse cursor size here. Uh, I was trying to jump from here to here because that way you're technically going over terrain mm -hmm. as you draw the line, right? So Interesting. Here, I'm going to crank up my uh, mouse cursor size. Where is that? Uh, should be under graphics? No. Nope. Oh, no, mouse and keyboard. That's what it'd be under. It's a mouse cursor. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, we uh, we lost our Zerg, uh, we lost the Zerg race, so I should probably... Dang. That, so actually, that angle's actually pretty tough for uh, Hanzo. I haven't played Hanzo on this map yet. Uh, does the I level 4 I talents help out with the Zerg wave at all? Um, it, it says monsters. Okay, so let's find out. Let's find out. <laughs> One should. shot in Ultra List. It should. It should. <laughs> Yep, it works. Okay. Uh, it works against uh, monsters. So this will be really good once I get piercing arrows at mm -hmm. level 16, um, because then my W can hit two things uh, um, in a single cast. Sure. Almost clicked the well. I don't want the well quite yet. Uh, I'm gonna go never outmatched. What this is is kind of like a battle momentum for those of you who remember battle momentum. Watch my W cooldown. Oh my. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. 
Uh, every auto attack lowers it by four seconds. Oh, I just missed that wall. So you can actually rifle out a bunch of uh, scatter arrows, you know, in short succession. That really helped out a lot, too. That was awesome. Oh, how did I not get Ana with two of those? Okay, that's all right, that's all right. Let's, um... I'm feeling kind of inspired hey, watching your gameplay on this character, honestly. Oh, I don't thank think you, thank I you. don't think I've seen this many angles being used, man. This is great. Yeah, you really got to think differently. Yeah. Uh, you got to really be, you know, thinking with portals, as Ooh, they say. Tool. Yeah, there's their tool might kill me. Yeah. Unlucky. Oh, by tagging with the Sonic Arrow. Got so, him. That's, that's something. That Hanzo, so hot right now. He's so hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any uh, viewer questions? We want uh, yeah, we got a couple here. Um, so, did you consider having Dragon Arrow have a shorter cooldown? Um, example, 30 seconds at the shortest range, increasing to 70 at the longest range tier so that it could oh, be more spammy for micro stun version. That's a really cool idea. I'll bring it back in case we need to make adjustments to the ability. I think that's kind of neat. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, kind of like, uh, you know, Lee. Oh, geez. Just got deleted. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting rocked this yeah, game. Yeah, they huh? got 10 here. Yeah. Very Imperian's got got the got the moves like Jagger. <laughs> Aiden, thank you for the question there. Um, as you work on getting level ten here, we got one more from Molhots. How do you feel about the relative power of Dragon Strike? Did you intend for it to be so difficult to get value from? Um, you know, it's definitely something. The damage values are something that we're always going to be tuning, mm -hmm. right? You know, we can find what we think is an appropriate value. Uh, in our playtest, but then once it goes live, you guys will show us what can really happen with it. And so I think this is definitely one we are a little bit more on the scared side of. Oh, I just got, I just, I just stole that kill from our Diallo and Lucio, who did all the hard work. You know, just kill still and Hanzo. All for the team, man. Oh, there we go. There Get you go. That nice. And then not uh, do that. Yeah, you really want to be thinking about all of your angles for your scatter arrows, right? You know, firing the arrows backwards. Um, I really need to focus here. You got this. Yeah. Avocado. <laughs> That's right, it's our safe word. Well, Silva's making some plays bottom, so if you guys just keep him here, your Gucci sauce. Oh, dang. I, these uh, these things are harder to work with than I uh, originally anticipated. Yeah, they're really weird angles. Game. And by this game, I mean this Braxis game. There, there we go. go. Got, nice. Got my simple geo. Plus. Geometry done. Oh, I'm going to hop in the, the Void Prison so I don't get isolate, ISO'd. But poor Chironda. <clears throat> okay, we're going to... Oh, you got that. It's okay. You just got to stay calm. We'll grab Dragon's Arrow because it sets up good plays. Mm -hmm. um, although with APOC, you can set up some good Wombos, but it's a little trickier. Yeah. So we'll just go with the old reliable. There's a there's a tier tool right there. Yep, there it is. I'm just watching this fight. Yeah, I'm going to Avocado here. Oh, they got, we got a Nano Boost. Oh, jeez, that Chromie. That Chromie, man. That Chromie, man. Yeah. Nano boosted Chromie just dropping down the queues like yeah. crazy. Um, let's see. Can you change his simple geometry quest, say, like, that hits the hero once instead of hitting two arrows on one hero? I'm sorry, can you repeat that question, Silver Crow? I, I think, I'm guessing he's asking, like, can it just be if you hit a hero with multiple heroes, you get a credit, and that's that? Mm. Um, one of the reasons uh, why it's made the way it is, I wanted to reward you for landing that solid all five hit arrow. Sure. And give you more credit than you would just for hitting a hero, period, right? Looks like we're going we're gonna to mega stack bottom here, team. Uh, and let's see if we can't get, uh, hold down this shot. Here comes, there's a Zeratul right there, yeah. Love the stealth change so I can actually see him. Oh, we're going to jump before Oof, the Varian. Nice Thank you. Oh, oh, coming out. oh boy, our Sylvanas fell. This could be trouble. Nah, you're gonna oh, oh we got the Cassia. I could feel it. We're in Dragon's Arrow. Oh, wow. He, he actually flipped the Varian closer into it. Oh, the dang poke? it. They just oh, got... Oh, gosh. Oh, the Chromie, man. That's the one thing I'm actually I've learned I'm, I'm not great at as Hanzo is keeping an eye on the, the enemy artillery. Like, Asmodan has proven to be very difficult for me um, in my games last night. I can see that, yeah. It. He's pretty low health, right? He's at 2k yeah. here at level yeah. 11. Yeah. Not the highest health. Oh, good, good. Break it down. Oops. I, I gotta get up here for the angle. Nice. Gotta be, again, you gotta always be keeping an eye on that angle for uh, Scatter Arrow. When was Deathwing coming out? You're not Pally Time. You can't answer or ask that question. Yeah, only, that. only only Pally Time can answer. That's a Walter question. only question, man. So, where do you think that? You guys will start hitting a point where you can start winning these team fights, where you'll be able to help like, get the damage in to maybe get rid of that Chromie or that Zeratul. I think Zeratol. 16 is going to be a huge spike for me right now. Okay. Uh, because then I get that piercing arrows. I get, um, oh, dang, I just missed it off that tower. Diablo making plays, though. I missed again. Hit that uh, Varian. 
Nice. Good Diablo stuff, good stuff, with good the stuff. plays. Actually, that Void Prison, I think, saved everyone from that Chromie death. Yeah, it did. Nice angle. Like I said, you got to always be thinking of the angles. The Oh, here, we're going to go Stun Arrow. And I just whiffed. Oh. That is a warning shot. You're good. You got this. Yeah, yeah. We'll let the oh, she got the best talent in the game. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye yeah. is one of the best talents ever created. Nice. Um, that was actually uh, from our technical designer, uh, our lead tech designer, Kevin Gu, actually. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Well, we got to send a thank you card oh, to Kevin. Oh, this Taronda. Great Wolf is making plays. Oh, dude. no. The Diablo pushed him out of the stuff. I'd say we can kill can this we? tower. Oh, oh. chunked. Oh, dear. Am I unstoppable while flying? Nope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember if I was unstoppable one over. But still, a decent oh, team fight, man. and you saved your key. Not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do they plan to work on a new, key, a unique hero as Abathur? So, just fair warning before he answers. Uh, we're not revealing anything on the stream extra. We're just talking about Hanzo. Maybe some gameplay changes here and there. Um, but I'll happily field heroes. the question. Say that we're definitely not done making wacky heroes like you know Abathur, Chogall, you know stuff like that. Okay. Um, they're they're much harder to come by, right? You know, um, but it's definitely something that we're interested in as a team. Is and like we haven't we haven't given up the chase. Sure. I'll say that much. Well, there you go. Some point. Uh, Tom Rogue asks, who do you consider to be the best counter to Hanzo and the best partner for him as well? You know, Genji's actually not that bad of a counter to Hanzo. Yeah. You know, with his capability to just That's dive weird. in on him. Yeah. You know, very fitting, right? You yeah. Know, we've yeah. all seen the Dragon cinematic. He he beats him there, right? Now you can't, you know, oh actually deflect does work on Dragon Strike. <laughs> In this, in this game. <laughs> um, Wait, what? But, really? Yeah, well, because it, it deflects damage, any damage you take, right? If so if you're absorbing Dragon Strike damage, mm -hmm. you will reflect back the, the um, uh, Kanais? Is that what they're called? I Darn forget Genji, what man. Are. Um, Genji yeah. destroying. Uh, so a max bounce arrow will only do half of Chromie's health. I mean, it's still a pretty big deal, right? Yeah, it's uh, on a two-second cooldown when I'm... Okay, they're not doing the boss. That's what we were really worried about. Um, oh, there's the tool for right Alright, I'm going to see if I can get an arrow, a stun arrow in here. I believe in you. Stun arrow, stun arrow. Nice. The APOC. Oh, into an APOC. Beautiful. Zero tool in the back. You got this. Chunked him with uh, the W. Got Silva in the back, too. You guys got this. You can feel it. So I went Ninja Assassin, which lets my trait reset if I get a kill. And so I'm trying to be very aggressive with my trait to close those gaps because if I get a kill, I'll just be able to do it again. Oh, I aimed that W so badly. I need to stop talking. Avocado. Oh, man. I thought so I could get that You guys got your top lane, man. That keeps going to go down. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, you're Actually, they're going to go defend that. I'll grab the bottom beacon just so that um, we can stall them. Getting... Oh, no. Oh, no. We're reteaching. That re sounds so scary. Rip. Uh, what universe do you enjoy working on the most when it comes to heroes? Man, um, I enjoy them all. They all bring different, uh, unique stuff, uh, challenges and, you know, fun stuff to work with. Oops, almost zoomed in the camera, the old levels. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, personally, I, I love all of the universes, right? I have such a strong attachment to each one. Sure. Well, one um, of my favorite questions when we do talk about universes, what brought you into Blizzard when it comes to a question? Like, what, what game was your first one? Uh, I mean, Warcraft 2. Yeah, Warcraft Two is my first Blizzard I game. I still haven't played that one. Is really? it up? Uh, I, I I have no idea. I haven't <laughs> I haven't played it in years. Um, Warcraft Three though, I think still holds up. Sure. Warcraft yeah. Three was like you know the cla oh boy I'm sleeping. I'm just very Ooh. tired. Oh, I was trying to jump over this wall. I guess it was too far away. Yeah. Also, you can't jump over your own gates because it doesn't count as training against you. This is getting rough, team. We're getting uh, we're getting handed. Yeah, it happens. Sixteen. Yeah. Your power spike's coming. Yep, yep, yep. That's okay. I think we can hold out this defense, though. Yeah. I think Matt, if you just play safe, you lose your keep. Ooh, ooh. Is this it? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's, that's it gonna for them. end very poorly for me. I'm going to Dragon's Arrow immediately. Just close your eyes. Ow. Yep, yep. There we go. Yeah. Hey, Chromie. All right. Well, we got a question <laughs> from uh If Tom. I could put one hot character in Overwatch, who and why? Ooh, that's a tough question because... um. It's kind of like you're asking, you know, who would who'd be fun in an FPS format? Yeah. Um, I think Lee Ming could be pretty fun. Yeah? Yeah, Wave of Force would be tricky. I, I You'd probably have to change it to be PBAOE, kind of like it is in Diablo 3. But um, the Magic Missiles, because they home out sure. like that, right? The Arcane Orb just kind of becomes a shot that will do more damage the further you are away. Yeah. So there's, there's some fun stuff there. And then you have a Blink Around. Yeah, one yeah blink. exactly. You have, yeah. A, you have a single Blink Tracer. 
Disintegrate so. could be fun too. Yeah, Disintegrate, which uh, I guess now we, have, we, we have, yeah we have Moara now, yeah. so yeah uh, maybe maybe we already have that one taken. <laughs> well, GG on that game. Uh, let's see if we what have. What is my rank players. in Hero League? I'm at zero of ten on placements. Oh, nice. <laughs> let's see. I think I ended up in Diamond Two. Uh, so what are you gonna go plow in? The weekend to play? Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, wait, no, I think I have to go with my wife on <laughs> a trip somewhere. So, won't be playing Hero League this weekend, sorry. You'll get there eventually. Yeah, uh, I did get Masters Team League. Um, nice. Not just with the same you know, group of people. So I was, God. I, was, I was hashtag proud of that just one. carrying different teams all day, every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Let's see if we get enough people in the Hanzo mains. I'd love yeah. to do a viewer games with you guys, uh, play with you. You guys can style all over me as I'm trying to play Hanzo while talking. All right, let's do it. Let's uh, get a custom game. You want to do... Her best or his best map? You want to go to Doom? Sure. Doom? Um, yeah, let's go Tomb. Let's go Tomb. Okay. Tomb's pretty good. Let's I don't know if here. it's his best, um, but it's certainly a good map. Um, let's see here. Yeah, if you're in Hanzo mains. All right, let's see here. Uh, anyone? Yeah. All right, there we go. We've got a few more people now. we got Looking a medic. He plays Morales only all yeah. day, every day. Um, you guys have to make sure that your settings are available to where I can invite you to the party. Oh, or no, you game. have to invite to game. Yeah. Derp. That's okay. Professional hero streamer, by the way. Like, do this all the time. Yeah. No big deal. Let's see here. We got Mortal. He's cool, too. We'll get him in here. Cool. And that should, should be I think, we're, I think we're one. I think there's one person. I don't think. Oh, wait. Yeah, we got everybody. Huh. We got everyone here. All right. We need one more. LF1M. <laughs> <laughs> Hop into the channel, Hanzo Mains. Where you two can become a Hanzo main. While we're waiting for our next person here, Tom yeah, sure. Rogue asks, uh, how is the process of picking Hanzo to be the next hero in HOTS? I mean, how do they choose him and why? Right. No, this was a great question. I actually got this a lot at BlizzCon uh, while doing a bunch of interviews there. And, um, you know, part of it was that we were, we were really excited to bring Alex Straza in. Mm -hmm. And we were really excited to get this giant dragon. And we really wanted more healers. Um, and we were really excited about her. We, we thought she was really cool. <coughs> but we were thinking, you know, what's, what's cooler than one dragon? Two dragons. Two dragons. Two dragons. <laughs> there you go. That was part of it. And we were also really excited by this ricochet idea. It's something we've been um something we've been wanting to get into the game for a while. Sure. We think it just opens up new opportunities for future heroes down the road as well. Yeah. And so that's why uh, we were doing this. Uh just want to ask if I'm single. No, I'm very happily married. <laughs> He's going on a trip this weekend. Yeah, going on Be a trip. Be jealous. This yes. Where are you going? Um, uh, somewhere my wife and I choose to go. Okay, well, fair <laughs> enough. We're keeping that one on yeah, the, the right, down low yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got 10 coming in here, so let's go ahead and build out this party. Uh, are we going to do a different build this game, or are we staying with the same one? Yeah, no, we'll go a different build. Okay. Uh, happily. We'll s let's see what the, the enemy team goes. I don't want to tell them what I'm going, otherwise they'll you know, just pick the perfect counters for mm, it. Yeah, <laughs> they'll come at you. Although I'm seeing a Valyrus so that's immediately nixing the AA build in my mind. <laughs> she's, uh, she's pretty good. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Not bad at all. Uh, yeah. From Mole Hots. <laughs> Did you ever consider giving Hanzo some utility talent options like a blind on a scatter arrow or maybe a knockback? Right. No, it's definitely something we talked about. But you know, when we look at our ranged assassins, we don't really necessarily want to give them the utility. We feel like that belongs better to the supports and the tanks. Sure. You know, we'll let the healers have the utility. Um, let them because Hanzo already got a lot of fun things he can do and, and do the team in terms of murdering everybody. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And so we kind of want to let that let him just stay focused in that role. We're um, it's something we think a lot about when we're designing the heroes. You know, what are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? What are the things that they can bring to the table? Sure. What are the things that they can't bring that you're going to need on your team comp uh, to, to fill out for you? Okay. Um, well, awesome there. Uh, Fizzbin, real quick here. I wish you could hear the conversation, but the volume is so low. Are you Ooh. saying us personally are or the stream is? Because I have two options to probably fix that. I just need to know yeah, which one. Yeah, let us know if we're too quiet. Um, yeah. Sorry, I lost my voice over the weekend. And so I'm... Talking a little quieter than I usually do. Wait, what happened? Were you just yelling? Did you go to a concert? Oh uh, no, we actually, um, yeah, yeah. There's just there's a party, and I was just talking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> just party animal there. That. Yeah, voices are a bit quiet. Okay, uh, okay we cool. can turn the left knobs up a little bit more. Uh, the two left ones should both be able to go up a little bit. We'll make sure that we don't peek here, but that should help out is a this, little is this bit. Better for you guys? Yeah, I think I can. Um, I can already hear it. Yeah, I can hear that we're louder too. All right, let's do game number two there. Seems pretty loud. I mean, audio is audio, man. People have their preferences. Yeah. Uh, if you can't go out more, then we're good. Sounds fine now? Sick. Uh, Excellent. If scent. I love this new scent. Scent. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Kent. You know, it's, it's funny because usually I get the Eric spelled wrong on my name. Yeah. You know, the K is swapped for a C. So it's kind of funny to hear to see Kent where the K is swapped for a C, which I guess I did to myself with my name myself, Centauric. So my I, have, I have only myself to blame for that one. Uh, if you could add any hero into the game, who would that be? I oh, feel like gosh. that's a bit of a trap question because, like, 
you have the power to add that hero to the yeah, game. Yeah, uh, I'm going to plead the fifth. I still <laughs> want Reinhardt. Oh, yeah? He'd be I really, really cool, want Reinhardt. Right? I know a lot of people um, want maybe a little less Overwatch heroes, but I think Reinhardt would just He's fit just so perfectly. He's just cool looking, right? Yeah. You know, a giant armored knight. I have no idea how his shield would work. <laughs> Projectile base blocks projectiles. Oh man! Maybe he just, he's OP. Uh, Ten thousand health to break through it. Yeah, I don't know. no, no, oh, no. I I get project blocking projectiles. We just have a lot of things in our game that are yeah. that are but aren't or aren't but are projectiles. Sure. So uh, I'm just like the he would break the, the game. The game developer in me is like, oh, that one, it'd be awesome. Um, but I could see some problems. <laughs> Maybe no mind hard guys. We'll yeah, see. We'll absolutely. see. Uh, Hondo's W. Why would you not make the arrow scatter when you hit a hero? Uh, he talked about this a little bit earlier here, but maybe reiterate. Well, sure. If we if we if we hit a hero, I guess what we could do is we could always scatter it uh, off behind them. It becomes a lot like Greymane's cocktail. Then um, it almost becomes identical. Um, and so that's where we want to make sure each hero has their own unique niche. Sure. So makes sense. Yeah. Simple and easy, guys. Uh, another one from Tom Rogue here as the game loads up. Uh, on in general. Overwatch characters bring one ult from the original game and a new one exclusive to HOT. Uh, can you talk about the process of creating a new one? Right, yeah. So that was um, that was actually really hard on Hanzo. We tried a lot of different things. I think one of the coolest uh, sounding ideas that we tried that actually ended up not working uh, very well um, was, we were I think we were calling it uh, Blot Out the Sun, mm. where Hanzo would like kind of channel and fire these arrows into the sky that would split into hundreds of other smaller arrows and like kind of... Think like Gul'dan's Corruption, except the circles sure. are bigger and they're further apart. That sounds so cool. Yeah, it sounds really cool. It's Dragon Strike, right? Yeah. Large area damage in a line. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I, it's fanatically uh, or um, thematically very different, but the gameplay is almost identical. You could it's, have gone uh, for a little translation and just actually shot out the sun, and everyone in the game was blinded. Yeah, exactly. Just do a Dahaka AOE yeah. uh, global. Yeah. Global I like Dahaka. It. Yeah, that could be pretty funny. All right, let's try this. Uh, we're going to go build. QQuest this time because okay. I think QQuest is really fun. Um, and I, I really want to shout out to our UI team that got us these special markers that show up below the nameplates. If you've ever played Ana or Lunara, you've noticed these like kind of poison marks. Mm -hmm. So right now, everyone's got three of these things uh, underneath their nameplate, meaning I have to hit them uh, three times with my Q but in order to unlock the quest. And I just missed that uh, somewhere else. That's so a total of 15 hits between yeah. five heroes. Yeah, except you have to hit every hero. So if you're just camping out in a single lane, it makes it really fun because like you want to go, you want to do some lane swapping, so you can uh, get some more uh, of your Q quest done. And thankfully, samuro has got his images, so he'll actually be pretty easy to get it on. Oh, I think I actually hit the real one. Yeah, I did. There you go. Does it not work on the clones? Got him. No, it does. It does work okay, on the okay. ones. I just happened to guess really lucky. My my apologies, Void Insanity. I got Boom, I got says. super lucky, and you know what? Gingerbread Genji needs some healing. Someone <laughs> took a bite out of him. Dropping the spray paints. All right. Yeah, I love I love the sprays in our game. Oh man. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Not the Valera. Oh, he would pick Valera. Yeah. Have you played against this Valera lately? She's, oh, it, she's. Uh, I had a talk. ton of fun playing. <laughs> we had a ton. Uh, sure, I'll forward all uh, feedback onto our balance team. <laughs> Perfect. Who's good. Who uh, handle? They they handle all of our uh, live reworks. Kitty, is that okay? Can I send you an email later? Kitty says it's okay. We'll Kitty says it's okay. okay. Perfect. Excellent. We gotta get rid of that groat, man. Oh man, jeez. <laughs> uh, will you ask yeah. him if he thinks Dragon Strike is underpowered underpowered currently compared to Dragon's Arrow, and what does he think maybe a shorter startup, shorter range until the alt comes out, or maybe a wider AOE would do? Uh, I think honestly, it's just something that damage could could possibly fix. We could we could definitely lower the cast time if we feel like the reliability on it is too yeah. low. Um, actually, I'm gonna try Dragon Strike because of the narrow corridors on this map. We might okay. be able to get some pretty good Dragon Strikes going off here. All right, so we'll make some plays. We'll do it. Rip, staying alive, just barely. Oh, got the got the Valera. Amedic is seriously the best Morales that I know in our community. He is, he is dedicated. See, to you that gotta hero. use that. You gotta use that trait sometimes for those offensive jump ins. And so, but now this Zeratul or Smurl. <laughs> they look the same. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna hang out in the destruct sequence area because that will. Ooh. Oh. Had Ooh. A bit of a... Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, so I'm going to show you guys explosive arrows. Oh, dang it. I just totally whiffed the Q while talking. So explosive arrows causes my Q to detonate in an AOE around. Mm -hmm. You'll notice I hit that Li Ming uh, for my Q amount of damage without actually hitting her. Um, it actually totally also super unlocks with piercing arrows. Um, oops. I was hoping I could hit a minion. Um, this gives them pretty decent wave clear. It'll actually be very good when the um, when the spiders pop out. Sure. Because I can clear the spiders pretty quickly as long as there's a minion. Oh. Thanks so if you notice your uh, opponents are hanging out behind the waves, consider picking that one oh, up. Oh, nice. Oh! 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 
That horn was I got, worth I, it. That was that was that well Hanzo, earned. So hot. <laughs> He's so hot right now. Thank you again. Shout out to Cloakin Kevin Johnson who got me that. Uh, he voiced that for me, recorded it on his phone and sent it to me. Kid is a man, dude. Yeah, he is the man. He needs to come out here. He needs to play a game of Hanzo. <laughs> Simple geometry, indeed. Yeah, Look at that. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, H.M. Rusk asks, glitches are always fun. Could you ask him <laughs> <laughs> what were any fun glitches that may have popped up during the development? Uh, oh, man, that's tough. Like, because here's the thing, like, we run into bugs all the time. Yeah. So, oh, boy, this Samuro is going to, yeah, or Valera. I, saw, I just saw a stealthy walking up towards me, and I, I was like, bad times. are. Oh, this, a medic is co is the best medic I've ever I'm seen. I'm telling you, yeah. he mains that character. Like, yeah. he comes over from Europe just to heal me occasionally during games, and I That's love it. That's amazing. He's a nice oh, guy. Man. Oh, man. Almost got that cute question. I'm trying to think of a glitch. I'd honestly need to ask um, uh, Matt Ferguson, who was the technical designer. He probably would remember better. Because, like, we, we run through so many bugs that yeah. I, you know, my brain doesn't keep track of them all. I think my favorite, not a bug, but anecdote from development. Feature. Is, feature. Like, feature. When Asmodan was being made, uh, and I was told by one of the developers that they use sheep for demonic invasion instead of <laughs> actual animations. Yeah, you know, we have to sometimes be creative. Um, come here, Karzine. I want my Q quest. Dang it. Um, How close are you to on it? You need three more heroes, it looks like. Yeah. Um, well, I've got, uh, I haven't even hit Bavarian once because he's in bot lane, so I need to go bot lane. That's actually uh, a good point when we're talking about the Q quest. I saw Michael Udall and Bakery. Shout out to them talking about the Q quest actually being countered by someone like Abather. Yes. Yeah. I definitely would advocate don't take this if you're up against an Abathur. Is there any thought of maybe it being procable on Ultimate Evolution clones? I mean, we could we could have that discussion. I sure. think, honestly, what you do is, Hanzo, is you go a different quest. Okay. Just go a different quest. We're going to try the Dragon Hungers. So what this does is that when I hit a hero with my Q, I'm going to get bonus spell power. And this bonus spell power will work with my ultimates. Oh, wow. So you Q first and ult. Yeah, if you if you stack up the the, the Q against the enemy heroes and with a Samuro clone, and once I get piercing arrowheads, um, it's it's something definitely something that can happen. Okay, well, there you go. Mortal's coming for you, man. Oh wow! Who, who was who care. was saying that Hanzo does no damage? So he can't murder the enemy team. Uh, don't listen to Twitch, chat, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can't read that stuff, man. Uh, Every time I hit Murky, I'll have a god tier Murky game and die uh, once in the late game, and like God, oh, that character is so trash. Murky, it's like I yeah. want to choke you out, man. You're destroying right now. Best yeah. Hanzo I've ever seen. Yeah, his uh, his damage numbers tend to be pretty high. Oh, oh I thought that Devo was something else. Right, I'm going to focus here on this turn in. Um, okay, I, I think I'm going to rotate down the bot lane. Oh, we got Ooh. web weavers. That's there good. There you go. Uh, these are just clones. Nice the shot. clone wars, as I like to call them. I get that reference. I get that reference. I get that reference. <laughs> I'm seeing it this weekend, man. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I saw some real try to super stealth here. Oh, no, it was a Valera. Ooh. I saw her. I, I love the super stealth. Actually, shout out to our pro community who gave us really good feedback during the community summit. And yeah. they were like, you know, we liked the idea that you could stand in bushes and you're actually pretty hard to see. Uh, I, yeah, I see you, Samurai. You're not you're not fooling me. Um, and, and so that's where the super stealth uh, came from. All right. Oh, boy. I see the Valera. She's on me. Okay, but I'm at high uh, max health here. You got this. Uh, I guess let's... Uh, train oh, chat. oh. Oh, he's you so got low. This? Oh, I don't have my trait. If I had my trait up, what is that trait cooldown? Twenty-five seconds. Holy cow! That's much higher than I thought it was. <laughs> Time for a buff. You could uh, you could tell that. Um, so as hero designers, we don't actually do any of like the final numbers. It's on we, the balance we, team, we right? We set it up. Yeah, the balance team sets up like what that cooldown should be and, and whatnot. So it's crazy how much of a team effort. How many people would you say it took just to bring this character to life? Um, I would say in the ballpark range of forty. Wow. Yeah. There is a huge team effort. Um, there's a lot of people who are contributing to the design of a hero. And now I wish I had played the game so I could get the top lane. <laughs> <laughs> am I right? Or am I right? You're right. You're pretty right right now. Um, yeah. There's a, it, it's a huge team effort. Um, you know, we're, we work with a lot of very brilliant, very smart people um, who help make it. You know, like these, this Hanzo Tech. Oh, dang. I, that, that jut out right there. Yeah. Spoken out a little bit. Yeah. Blocked my shot. I wonder if the map designers right now are like, oh, when they play this map, they're like, oh, I should have made this a little bit better for Hanzo. I hey, wish he, he was coming out. Like I said, I, so I actually, I was the one <laughs> that uh, I volunteered to pick up the brunt work of um, cleaning up these uh, these battlegrounds. So yeah. I, have, I have only myself to blame. How many hours um, did you spend on that, would you say? Oh, that one. <laughs> that one took a lot of time. <laughs> well, we appreciate it, man. We really do. Oh, man. That one took a while. Um, this fight's looking a little scary here. 
Yeah, this looks like a nope, not almost a dragon strike moment. How do they ignore you? If I was playing Hansa right now, they would be on my face all day. I got a diva, a Garrosh, and a medic. You're so right. It's, it's working out hard. I, oh man, I was I got close again to firing off a dragon strike. I probably holster my dragon strikes way too much. Just throw it out, man. So you look all at that corridor. Day. Great for uh, chunking that Valera down quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Hard place to escape. Uh, so from Wrath Hoths. Uh, are there currently any ability designs that you really liked but were scrapped to the difficulty of implementing them, such as limitations to the engine? Um, oh, I'm sure that's come up. I'm, I don't know if I can think of any off the top of my head, though. Sure. All right, who, I, am I just missing Varian? Yeah, I don't think I've hit Varian once with my Q. If I just hit him once, I get the range increase, and if I hit him three times, I get the bonus damage, um, which is not insignificant. He's going to stay in base now, so you can't get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pro moves right there. I don't know. I'm waiting for him. I'm waiting for him. He wants to come out. Oh, I thought he was going to come out there. Yeah, so yeah. When yeah. we have more. Oh, we're going to do some mounted archery. This is a hilarious yeah. ability. So when you mount, you get a little boost of movement speed. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Oh, yeah, we're dragon do striking. It. We're dragon striking. Nice. Oh, I just need wow. to hit that variant with a Q. It's kind of junking. Nice. There, there you go. go. Got it, anyways. That Hanzo, so hot right now. <laughs> I really wanted that quest credit. Am I right? <laughs> I kind of want Kevin to come down and sit right in the middle of us and just say that. And just whisper it in Every our time you make a play. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, this diva, Grey Wolves, you rocking the Aggro, good diva. man. Yeah, I like it. Going in. So I'm actually going to kill this wall as Hanzo, uh, just so I can get some of this terrain uh, popped off here. There you go. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, throw out a sonic arrow so we can just keep an eye out on who's coming. So actually, for those of you who don't know, we're going to hand the reins over to Tim after this. Yeah, he's um, going to teach me how to play. Yeah, now that's Senpai, in his words. <laughs> uh, and I'll just be giving him advice as he plays. So if you guys want to get ready to play with Trixler, join the ch chat channel Hanzo Mains. We'll do it on the next I'm map. waiting for this variant. Oh my gosh, I am so bad. I cannot land a stingle. Nah, you got this. You're crushing. All right, there we go. I got the one. No. And no, I never just mind. proceeded to die. Streamer curse. Streamer curse. Just like that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, now we get time to ask a few more questions What's here. What's more rewarding, having fun in the hero you made or seeing others embrace a hero? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I have a ton of fun playing my own hero. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it is. There is something very rewarding about, you know, seeing your hero played. Like, I love watching Li Ming make plays. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because as designers, we're trying to, like, give players these tools. Sure. And so part of it is, like, seeing... What, what are the awesome things that they can do with those tools now that we've made them, right? Because they always show us new things. Yeah, Li Ming was actually one of the first heroes designed to, like, actually so, show someone that can pop off, right? Like, yes. that was the intention yeah, that was, with her. Yeah, yeah, totally. I was also just super passionate about this character. I'd been wanting Li Ming in the game yeah. uh, since about um, five years ago. And so I got her in, what, now two years ago, two and a half years ago? With time, things yeah. do come. Yeah, good things come with time. Uh, let's see here. I'm aware that the development process starts quite a while ago for a new hero, but when did the conception and development of Hanzo actually start? And that's from Dragon uh, to Man. Uh, probably around April of this year. So, so that was like a really point blank blunt answer. <laughs> yeah, it's December. So what? That's nine months. My yep, it's about right? it's about eight to nine months to make wow. a hero. Straza actually took about eleven um, because there was so much added complexity to her. Sure. With you know the giant dragon model, um, you know what? They're not defending the siege. Oh, here we go. Li Ming. Is that pretty standard? Six to eight, probably. Oh man, I almost got that Li Ming with the W. Yeah, it's about pretty standard. Uh, we take about that many months. Let's get this wall dead. here. Yeah, here we go. I think we've got a nice dragon strike set. Oh, there's Samuro is just not even coming up for this one. I don't see a Hanzo oh, main channel. We there is no air. space. GC Cloud. No space. Sorry, Hanzo mains, one word. Oh yeah, so I got piercing arrows on my uh on my um Q. Watch watch the minion wave here. Just gets decimated now. Destroyed. Thanks to the piercing arrows. So I think we're gonna have a dragon strike moment here. Still sun gonna go in though. All right, just gotta get one more Q on that Varian. We're gonna we're gonna set this up just to block off their escape. Okay. Oh boy, he uh, he jumped in, totally throwing me off. Look at all that math going down right now. Oh man. Oh, I got it. I got it. There you go. So it's a hundred bonus damage on my Q, which is still pretty good. That's a 20 20 percent increase right now. And with the explosive arrows and the piercing, you can start to make some fun plays right here. Like I said, so since if I hit a minion with it, it's gonna explode. That means I can hit a ton of heroes. Um, can I expo throw a exploding mech? You absolutely can. That's how you make the plays. Oh, I I'm going in. This is making me want to play Hanzo, man. Oh, man. Where did she go? Where did she go? Oh, oh no. I'm going to die now. Kinnick. 
That's what we got the foghorn for. <laughs> <laughs> Almost oh, at man. it. Yeah. Okay, so have you ever tossed the idea around of having a hot community <laughs> assist in designing a hero? Uh, I uh, I feel like that. I'm sure that idea has been tossed around yeah. time or two, right? You know, it's always the dream, right? It seems difficult, though. It's very hard. So it's actually something. So as the lead hero designer, I oversee our hero designers, um, and they do most of the hero designs of their day to day. Yeah. Like this year, uh, the only two heroes I did were Anna and Hanzo, and um, and so one of the things I actually try to do is make sure I don't step all over. We just threw bad. Yeah, game over. As I try to make sure I don't step on their uh, input in their design. So sure. if anyone's ever worked in design, actually, um, there, there's a good saying that it takes ego to make a design, and it's it's really to to create to create something out of nothing. Like you have to have a little bit of an ego, right? But at the same time, you obviously don't want to be egotistical and not listen to good feedback that's coming from people. Man, I just chunked that leaning. Sure. Um, so similarly, though, I don't want to like stomp too much on the ego of my um, fellow designers and let them do their their cool designs. And so, even though so there's a, like a group doing the design, there's really one hero in charge because you you want one person driving it to have that unified vision. Sure. So you know, I'm just imagining adding a hundred people to the mix. It can get really tough. So, I mean, we love getting that, the ideas from you guys, but that that's why that would be tough to do something like that. Yeah. Be really cool. Well, we appreciate it. Either way, you know. <coughs> yeah, well, it's always cool to be able to drop an that's idea a, in there. That's a real smir Oh yeah, there we go. There's the fix. All right, let's see here. Did you ever have to rearrange the hero's release order because a certain hero made too much trouble developing? Um, uh, not, not, uh, not, uh, not that I can think of. Yeah. Maybe like three or four years ago, back when we were really rough and tumble. Now we've got things in a pretty streamlined process, um, so that things are can happen in order. Wow, just destroyed that minion wave. This build seems pretty good, actually. The more I watch it, the more I kind of like it. Yeah. No, it's it's super fun. Uh, also, really fun if you go on a map that's got bosses, uh, soloing bosses with um, the W talent. Okay. Oh, nailed him. He's done. Oh, that's not the real one. He's, wow. He's throwing me for it. There's that mounted archery, so when you use your trait, you immediately land on your happy cloud. Which is just absolutely fun. You gotta go with the angry cloud, man. It gives you more fire, more passion. <laughs> it really does. Uh, I love the happy cloud, though. He's just so happy. Yeah, he's just chilling, man. That's what's my face. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm getting... See, that's something I don't think about. Like, if I'm retreating, just to throw out my scatter arrow, try to get some damage in, get yep, it on cooldown. Yep, because it, it's not a long cooldown. Yeah. I'd be trying to jump over the wall and just get away completely. Yeah, you got, you got to be very aggressive with Hanzo. You know, use these cooldowns to... Oh, boy. Oh, no, our, our amazing medic. Medivac. Saving the day. Um, Let's see. What did you call guerrilla-style fighting? Oh, yeah, this yeah. Valera. Oh, man. I can't hit her. He's going for it. Oof. The save. I think we're going to Dragon Strike here because they're going to want to... Oh, no. I aimed it just a little too... Oh, no. Actually, that's pretty good. It's, it's splitting the team. You know, it's not always about the damage you deal, but it's also about how you force a split on the team. Yeah. He, he wants to, I can see it, he wants a Colossus Smash. I have my trait up, though. No way, Gary's got you defended. Yeah. George. I actually like to call him George. You call him George? Yeah. He's, he's always been George to me. I don't know about that, man. We, we might we, have to we, fight on that we one. We have to talk. Yeah. Gary's just so natural for gargantuan. I, I, I can see that now, but George is so much more silly. Okay. <laughs> we'll let him have right? two names. It's legal somewhere. Many uh, places, actually. Let's see here. Oh, so notice I just double tapped that Lee Ming. So I hit her with one arrow, and then the second arrow hit a, uh, a minion exploding. So I actually hit her with two damage instances of the Q. Oh, dear. So something you want to keep in mind Yeah. as you're playing Hanzo. That's a good point there. Stay away from minion waves for sure if this build's going in. You got this? Oh, oh. no, I mistimed it. <clears throat> oh, I mistimed it. I thought the parry would be... Oh, he palmed Do you one. got this? I might with mounted archery. Oh, no. This, I believe. The, the, just uh, go for it. Play the game. No. Don't. There's, you have there's to. Too much. There's too much. Ken Eric, man, we gotta I make should've. plays on the stream. You're right. You're right. You're right. I gotta. I gotta be over. I gotta go ham. Yeah, man. If you I feed, gotta be over aggressive. You can just blame it on chat. Yeah. That's what I always do. blame chat. Always blame chat. They like it. A B C's. Always blame <laughs> chat. Uh, let's see here. What the crap? You're here with Ken Eric. What is going on? Uh, let's try Bullseye, Sonic Arrow, Charles Faster Sons. I think I saw somebody ask a question about why there aren't any. Um, why there aren't many uh, Q, uh, E talents? Mm -hmm. um, to me, I kind of looked at it as uh, as like Wisp. Sure. <laughs> you know, really something like I we we actually tried some talents earlier on. Oh, land of the stun. There you go. On Lee Ming. Um, 
and we felt like I didn't necessarily want you using the ability not for scouting, like because that's really what the ability is for. And so it was hard to make any talents that didn't change the way you use it in a less than healthy way. So that's why we, we stayed away from it, except for 20. That's and an interesting point. Like, if you add a talent, does it take away from your original design intention? Right. So you have to think about that. And, you know, sometimes we want you to change the way you use an ability, especially, like, an offensive ability. But yeah. with something like that, um, we were, uh, you know, didn't want to have a wisp tier also. Mm -hmm. I think we've uh, gotten feedback about that one. So, uh, Lana. Lana. Lana Banana. Lana Banana. That's how I remember how to say it. I always say Lana now just to make her mad. Um, we're dragon striking. Go it! You got this. And the palm expired. Beautiful play here from Centaur. Can he get the Baron <laughs> going in for a play? And that's it. That's gonna be play of the game. Uh, what was your favorite moment while designing this hero? Um, I think um, I think I had a moment where I used my trait to leap over, got the kill, got the reset because we just put in Ninja Assassin, mm -hmm. um, and then jumped out. I'm trying to remember who it was I, I, you know, I was styling on to do that, but that was definitely like one of those like, oh man, there's like fun plays that you it was can probably make Cooper. with this here. Let's just assume it's Cooper. It was probably Cooper. Oh, oh. Right we got this. We yeah, got you this. got this. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, he's done. Oh, I believe. Oh no. I'm believing less right now. Oh man, I actually shout out to you, Void. And that Sandy. was some that jukes. Was, that was some good jukes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty good. Hey guys, uh, remember join the chat channel uh, Hanzo Mains No mm -hmm. Space if you guys want to play with Trixler. He's gonna be playing Hanzo up next. Did you just call me Trixler first, George, and now Trixler. Trixler, sorry. Ken Eric, it's Trixler, right? We're not cool anymore, man. I right, okay, get, get, get the stun off the E. No. You got that I easy got that. life, yeah, dude. Yeah, that one's easy. yeah, we're gonna do a game, and he's gonna teach me the. Uh, Woo! The How hero am I here. Out? Uh, let's see here. Will there ever be a Cow King hero? All right, we are not gonna reveal any heroes. You guys can't <laughs> ask that stuff. Like, I know it's tempting to ask just isn't because it? I'm the lead hero designer. Yeah, isn't it more exciting, though, to, like, have know, the hero I, I come out? I was actually going to say, like, I mean, you don't want me to tell you because, like, it's like learning what your Christmas present yeah. is. Like, it's fun for, like, three seconds. And you're like, oh, and wait. And like, oh, uh, or I'd say the day. It's fun yeah. for the day. And then the next day you wake up and you've lost all that excitement exactly. about what's going to be coming up. You want to look forward to stuff yeah. here, man. All right, Trick, I'm going to give you the right. trolls here. Let's do Should it here. swap seats? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll log into my account. So, first tip that you gave me Be aggressive. I thought it was to hit your skill shots. I have to be aggressive yes. and hit skill shots? Hit your skill shots. Hit your skill shots. Okay, all right, all right. Should I log into my account real quick? Probably just to have yeah. my actual information. Could have just hit logged out. Well, I could have. Oh, wait. I don't want to show your email, man. Yeah, yeah. It's true. People send emails about cow king or something. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it. Anyways. Rip. Rip. All right. Let's see here. And then I'll log in here. What map should I play on? What do you recommend? Um, oh, hold on, sorry, I'm going to play with the mic here. Um, I just, you know what's funny? I had a map in mind, but I, uh, when I see the list, I'll remember. All right. When I see Anamora? the list. No. <laughs> um, he had a tough time on that one. There's just so much open space. Did he really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess so. Once you get in the middle, it would be kind of a pain. Especially, because it's like the bottom. Yeah, there's just, there's so much open room. And yeah. so you don't have anywhere to launch, uh, you know, god tier scatter arrows off of. You can grab those mercs so quickly. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Hey, chat, how's it going? How you doing? Do you feel like you're running a radio show or something yeah. right now? Uh, yeah, welcome to Heroes Public Radio. What's HBR. the button for the Hanzo so hot right now? Uh, F5, I F5. believe. That Hanzo okay. is so yes, hot Yes, the right overly now. obnoxious air horn is on F3. Okay. And then the, the fog horn's on F4 for mm -hmm. when you die. There you go. Okay, I got it. Yeah, it was very important that I get that all set up before yeah. I started streaming F3, the last F4, night. F5. Um, shoot, was it Towers of Doom? Uh, I'm done with Hoza Doom. Hold on, let me see the other maps real quick. Okay. Yeah, do Towers of Doom. Do Towers of Doom? Yeah. All right, we'll do Towers that of Doom. That one's uh, pretty good for him. I like it. There's lots one. of little nooks and crannies. There we go. All yeah. right, let's see here. Um, I got to join Hanzo Mains. Hanzo Mains. Do you know you can do slash who to see who's in the in the channel? Can you? Yeah. Let's look over here. I didn't know that. Oh, you can just look over there. How about that? Yeah. Look at that. I also it. make them do this. I make them type. That's good. That's good. It's actually really, really, really good. Make sure that they their uh, comprehension skills mm -hmm. are up to snuff. And they have a keyboard. Like, that's yeah. really important. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really smart. So what you should really do is make them type in Q, yeah. then W, and then E. 
and R. R is pretty important. R is too. more important. I, right, so maybe, maybe maybe press R to join game. The more people I need to have. Oh yeah, R. one, two, three. He's like, guys, I want you to know I I have it all. Okay, let's get them on yeah. here. I think I got eight. If I count it correctly. Question for Kent: What was one of the biggest lessons learned from working with Hanzo? Um, I'd actually say the biggest lesson uh, I learned was um, working closely with the team as a whole. So Hanzo had a lot of technical. Um, technical stuff that we needed to get stood up mm -hmm. in order to make like the ricochet tech and then also we wanted to get the controls for the Q um, to be that press and release style that we, we finally shipped with if you knew you guys attended BlizzCon you may have noticed we didn't have it in there that's because we were still working on it right and so if there's one lesson I learned it's that um, I should have been working more closely uh, you know more tight knit with the various team members to make sure that we were on track to get everything or to pivot the design if we couldn't and so you know you know, Trick was asking earlier how many people work on a hero. Um, it's anywhere from 40 to 70. It's somewhere in that range. You know, working more closely with that team as a whole, making sure that, you know, Team Hanzo has what they need. And that as a designer, I'm, I'm making sure I'm making sure the design is something that we can actually ship at the end of the day. Has there ever been an idea, and you also share the idea. No, totally. <laughs> that someone that says that is too crazy. You cannot put this in the game. Oh, that's how that happens on a regular basis. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, there's there's just simple um, there's simple conceits that you uh, you sign up for when you're working on a top down game. For instance, sure. say like from an FPS, like say Overwatch, mm -hmm. right? There's certain things that are gonna work better, that are gonna not work as well, and so it's understanding all that stuff. And then there's also just ideas that are just, you know, like wow, that sounds cool. If we had like three years and a hundred more engineers and they were all geeked up on it right yeah, yeah. You know, so like maybe let's find another way to get what you're trying to accomplish and so um it's def definitely something that's part of the, the craftsmanship of being a, a game designer is um you know it's not just being a game designer but also sure. being a game developer and understanding all that needs to go in there and so uh, it's definitely something that i it's a skill i want to level up um in 2018 is working on being a better game developer Dang man, that, that was from the that soul. Just, that, that just, just got came out like hashtag real talk right that there. That was so real, Jesus man. I need an avocado. Thirty seconds, man. To think okay, about that avocado, one. Avocado, avocado. Okay, let's see. I think we're ready to go. We're gonna play the Hanzo. <laughs> Is there a build that we haven't shown on the stream yet that you yeah, would sure. recommend we, for me to try? Um, yeah, I, t I try the AA build, Redemption. Okay. Um, let me see here. Uh, oh yeah, so Redemption's got a really fun thing at level four. Sure. If you go the um, ignore all distractions, it mm -hmm. causes your basic attacks to instantly kill minions. Sure. But it then increases your attack range by two for three seconds. So what this means is that you can fire, you can kill that minion, and then your next two attacks have bonus range. You can line those up on a hero to get your quest credit. So sure. it gives you a little laning mini game to play. So that can be tons of fun. Okay. We'll try it out then. We'll go for an on attack. I think though. next game I'm going to suggest Cursed Hollow and have you go scatter arrow build so you can uh, maybe solo some bosses for people. Okay. And show you, you them can the power solo a boss. Of, you can solo a boss. With a hero. With Hanzo. Are you going to be like 2 HP when you're done? or You might be pretty low. <laughs> All right. You might, you might want to duo the you boss. You are <laughs> setting me up. The only thing I can put on Reddit yeah. is when I make misplays. And That's you are right. setting me up for this. Right, right, right. All right. Let's do it, man. I'm down. Uh, chicken or egg to junk rats ricochet mechanic help with or finish Hanzo. Uh, it's actually the other way around. We were working on it for Hanzo when we thought, you know what, maybe we could do a simpler version of this for junk rat. Sure. Um, it turned out to be a little less simple. <laughs> as so, do all things. As as do all things. There's but there's a there's there's a cost to pay. There's a piper to pay, if you will. For those of you who know that fable. Do you guys know the fable of the Pied Piper? I actually only learned about it about a year ago. Uh, no, I know it's, of it. Um, yeah, I the, I mean, the see if I can give the, you the, the quick TL stuff, right? DR. Um, oh, apparently I am. Um, thank you. Shout out to Katie Simpson. I'm not in the camera shot. Oh, Actually, can we like slide this over? Yeah, you can just do whatever oh, you want. Now your computer it. is yours now. I've got the control. Oh, hi. Now I hi 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 internet. How's you, how's you guys doing? <laughs> so here's the 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 tail the Pied Piper. I'm gonna do my slow um, my quiet voice because I'm trying to preserve it. I'm ready. Yeah, uh, here on Heroes Public Radio. <laughs> so the Pied Piper. Um, oh gosh, do I even remember it? <laughs> A year I was building up. You got uh, me all built up. Like, all right, so there was a town that was having uh, trouble because they oh they had a mouse problem. Yeah, and so this uh, the mice were just stealing all the food, the cheese, the nuts. Yeah, they're stealing everything. Right, it's like a medieval town, mm. and so this this guy walks up in rags, and he's like, I, I will take care of your mouse problem. He's like, I here's the payment I require. It's very high. It's like uh, you know many 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 gold coins. And the mayor, they're, the town, and they're, they they refuse him at first. Yeah. But then the mice problem just continues to go. Problem. He, he comes to them. And like, if you pay me this, I will take care of it. And they they're so desperate. They say fine. So he pulls out his pipe and he starts playing on the pipe. Plays this musical tune. And mm -hmm. everyone kind of likes it. And then suddenly they notice that the mice start coming out one by one, and they're following him almost hypnotically. And he leads them up over to a cliff. 
and keeps hiding them to where the doorway appears, and they walk through the doorway, all the mice, and then their doorway seals, and they're gone. I thought they fell up off. In, oh, no, no, it's up in a mountain. It's up in a mountain. It's in a cave. That's right. Oh, okay. And they're off behind the sealed door. Sure. And he walks back in that town, rejoices, all the mice are gone, and they don't pay him. They say, nope, you know what? We don't have a problem. We don't need to pay you. So he comes back. To the, he comes back to the next day. He pulls out his pipe. He starts playing the tune again. And the town people are confused. They're like, "What's going on?" Then suddenly, the children start walking out of the homes and start following the piper. You can see where this is going. It gets He's very dark. The kids. Yep, and the kids follow him up, and that's why you always pay the piper. Anyways, oh, dang man, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there because it gets really dark, really sad. I thought it was like a like a little fairy tale, man. Oh, fa man. Fake. So actually, so I'm a I'm an Eng I'm an English minor in college. Sure. Um, and so I actually I did fairy tale studies. Um, uh, did a course on that. Nice, blowing up that dreadlord. Thanks, man. I gotta tell you, fairy tales. Um, they don't they don't mince words. <laughs> Disney ruined them all. They've been all nice. Uh, I ruined or made them awesome. Made them I, awesome. I, I I love um, Moana. I loved Moana. Moana that was, was great. amazing. That dude. was really good. I really loved that. I loved the music in it, especially. All right, let's talk about uh, Hanzo here. So uh, so for those of you who don't know, Han uh, Trick went the um, the AA quest. Or did you go to the AK quest? Yes, I did. You went redemption? Okay. So you notice when he auto attacks a hero, he's going to put a little marker below their nameplate. That's to let him know, hey, if you auto attack this guy one more time, you're going to get a quest bang. Um, once he gets 12, he gets 50% increased attack speed. Mm -hmm. um, that's a lot. Okay. That's a lot. And, and Hanzo has one of our heavier hitting auto attacks. <laughs> so it's quite a big spike. Uh, if he dies, even at full, if he dies, he's going to lose three stacks. So, oh, really? So I shouldn't die at all? Yeah. I didn't read that town at all. I just went with it. I just trust Yeah, it. yeah. So it's kind of like a little bit like convection where dying, you lose it. But there is no... We like we like to play with quest towns. So we like to try new things. And so we want to try a um, an always resettable one. Okay. So this one has um, what you might call a little bit more counterplay for the enemies because they can always kill you. But you can always get it back up. You just need to do it three times. So. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to suggest the trick that he goes ignore all distractions, which I think is the third talent. Okay. Um, don't quote me on that. Yep, it's the third. Ignore all distractions. Okay. So Thank your basic you. attacks instantly kill minions. So kill that art. Or yeah, actually get that. Now, now see those range rings. That's uh, that's your attack range right now, uh, and it lasts that way for three seconds. So go ahead and kill one of those minions. Okay. And then now you have bonus attack range. Backwards. Was that? Oh. Yeah. There you go. So you have a, you have a little mini game to kind of play in lane here. So I can like do this. Yep. Now you have bonus attack range. I think you can uh, outrange the towers actually with it. Really? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I could have said four a little bit. I'll try one more time. There right, you go. I need to run. Oh, you need to get out. Yeah. That Dahaka drag. Oh, boy. You might be in trouble. I'm done. No. Don't kill me, please. There goes your uh, stack. I'm new to the game, please. He's new to the game, guys. He's never played Heroes on Heroes Public Radio before. Oh, my God. Brightwing take nap, too. Mm hmm. Brightwing yeah. looked the best. Her and Mercury are like all my stuff. Can you put Redemption on Stukov, please? Oh, that'd be hilarious. I love his auto attack. That is one of my favorites in the game. One of the and, uh, and the sound team again killed it. It's so chunky sounding. Just Him boom. and Butcher, like the best auto yeah, attack sounds. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get over here. This tracer man. <laughs> I've wondered about this question for a while, but I was wondering, can Eric, how did it feels to coach someone who is a living legend? I'll say that it feels great because I don't need to do much coaching. It's a, it's a very easy job. He's Aww. already a living legend. Oh, okay, you got it. You got it, anyways. You got it. Remember, key number one to play in Hanzo: land your skill shots. Now I missed it. I'm stressing out, man. Can you put your tongue off me, please? One more time. Oh, 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 or Li Ming can just you know get the kill. That works too. Yes. Trades up in eight if you wanna get ready for a leap. Oh, no, okay. never mind. Yeah, I'll come over the side. I'll do it over the wall. There you go. This? There you go. Here you go. I'm on the main. No, I'm not. Oh my god. No. Oh, trick. No, she's got me. Safeguard. She, Medic's got this. Medic's got you. She's a. Oh. oh. No, Jaina got you. Back down to five stacks. I, I don't like this. I'm losing so many stacks. It's uh uh yeah. Uh, maybe it's not the best for streamers. Yeah, because, maybe Because you know not. we're trying to make plays all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah, gotta play a little bit uh more careful. Once so, you hit 12 though, 50% attack speed is pretty monster. Okay, so it's reduces by three no matter what. So if I'm at 12, it's nine, yes. et cetera, et cetera. Yep. Okay, yep, okay, okay. Yep, yep. Uh, what am I doing here at seven? Um, so you have, you have some choices here. Uh -huh. um, you can go shield breaker arrows, which sure. is great. Actually, I would advise that. They have Tassadar. Okay. So. Uh, it causes your Q and auto attacks to kind of have like that variant flavor where they do okay. ton of bonus damage to shield. So you're going to immediately remove that Tassadar shield so on with a single auto attack. On yeah. Counter. Yep. yep. And your Q does it too. Oh. If 
I hit it. If you hit it. If I hit it, it's okay. You can. Like I said, uh, you can gotta hit skill shots. You got this. Yeah, just, just focus on that quest credit for right now. There oh, you go. Wow. Oh, just like that. You just removed the shield. Wow, that's insane. Yep, yep. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty strong damage add. It's very conditional though. Okay, I'm gonna use that often. And that's every auto attack, no matter what, right? Every auto attack and every Q. But they have to exciting. have shields up to, you know. Yeah, for it to work. For, to do anything. So you know, if they don't have any shields, we don't pick it. Yep. Is yep. it good against Zarya? Uh, I mean, it removes the shields, energy? but she yeah. is getting the energy, so that's it's true. you know, I mean, you're removing the shields. Mm -hmm. So, you know, don't die, trick. Don't lose those stacks. I believe. Oh. And medic. Oh yeah, you got that medic. Oh, I don't, I don't believe, believe anymore. anymore. I, I, I stopped believing when Jinx, I heard the Dr. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Yeah, it's the best thing. I, I like it. That's yeah, I love a good DP. Yeah. I'm not going <laughs> to. I got nothing to say about that one. That's what we call a living legend in drinks. Mm hmm Dude, tr anything that dives you feels like it hurts against Hanzo. This Tracer is having a He's, field uh, day. Yeah. You might want to play uh, a little safer. Maybe I shouldn't have told you to go Redemption. No, against I'm, I'm making Tracer this work, dude. I mean, You're going gonna to make it work. All right, I'm going to Every two steps I'm going to give you some uh, avocados. Okay. And let you focus on uh, getting your uh, redemption stacks All right, up. I'm going to get 10 and missing plays. That's what I'm going to do here. That's what we're going to do. We're going in. Trick is about to make the plays, guys. I'll I'll provide the stunning play-by-play -play commentary. I want while HCC Trick focuses commentary. just on what was that kind of? HEC commentary. That's oh, what I H want. HEC level. Give me hype for every minute. So right now we have a uh, blue team's down, level nine to level ten. We're looking like a uh, play's gonna happen up here. Bottom altar spawning in two seconds here. Tracer's already there to make the play. Dahaka uh, not on the visible on the mini map, but remember he does have Brosh Docker up, which means he can teleport to any bush anytime. Both teams are gonna be posturing a little bit. Red team definitely has an advantage. You might see blue team stand back, but oh, but now blue team's got their ultimates coming up online here. Oh, we got this. We got the power slide in on the tracer. We got the dragon's arrow coming in for the stun. Good shield by Tassadar, negating a lot of damage. Mosh pit whiffs. Hanzo jumping in like a madman. Dodges the dodges the Dahaka isolation, but meanwhile, a medic is down. Blue team running into trouble here as they've lost their healer. Dahaka missing the drag. Meanwhile, ETC zoning for them. Tracer running interference on the Hanzo, who would love to capture this for his team. It would tie up the game on the Ultra Scorch if they get this kill. Meanwhile, he's applying pressure on the bot. Dahaka coming in again. Like a madman. Oh, but he dies before that regen can kick in. This is going to be a huge swing for a blue team. Let's see if blue team can pull us off. They get one more kill. They've easily got this altar. They might even have it right now. Scatter arrow going off. We have a medevac coming in for blue team on the left side. We have the altar popping off, and look at that. We've got Hanzo leading in hero damage. Oh, yeah. There you go. There was your HCC commentary. Thanks, man. That was amazing, dude. Thank you. Thank you. you come cast some time? I think you guys do an amazing job of that. Nah, man, <laughs> but that uh, would be fun. Cal already needs a break. <laughs> he works too hard. Hey, good for him. You know what? I, uh, I applaud hard workers. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, yeah. Just there destroy that shield. Dude, that feels amazing. Honestly. <laughs> like, you don't know how satisfying it is to kill a tracer. Oh, oh, my oh, God. oh I do know. Oh, you know. I know how satisfying it is. Oh, stun arrow! Oh, Aww. man! If you so that's the one thing with stun arrow. Sometimes you want to step back just a little mm -hmm. bit so you get that extra half second of the stun. And then jump in and go make plays. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Stun arrow lining up with your trait can lead to some really cool playmakings. Oh, interrupted the heart there. He's got yeah. very low health. Chilling, man, oh boy. Um, I was gonna say you have I four aggro, jump. but you're about to lose four aggro thanks to the minions. Can you guys turn this for it? You guys probably can. Oh yeah, easily. Uh, you don't need to kill the healing fountain then. Doesn't even give XP or anything. You're right. What was I thinking? I want this. Oh, you Admit can kill it. all the. Oh, actually, I don't. I don't think you can kill shields that are on uh, forts with your. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, Trick. We got. We got a little overconfident. That guy was just like, "Here's a naked ring of frost," and nailed it. He's a legend. Yeah. You guys were. I think you guys were pretty focused on trying to kill that yeah. fort. I wanted it. That's what I get. Yeah, I really wanted greedy. that keep. Oh man, it's so low. It's, it's right so there. Should they, I ult it? It won't hit it. Why not? It only hits Can heroes. you fix that? That should be buffed. Well, if it hit another tower on the way. What if it hit that wall? How would you feel if it hit that wall? I'd be pretty upset. You're right. You don't want You're to You're such hit. a good designer. <laughs> <laughs> so <I> greedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the horn. There, there you go. go. There Slide you of the go. blade. Yeah. I'm not the streamer oh, that boy. Is. Oh, boy. Oh. oh, boy. It's not looking good. Yeah, that, that was a double kill in the making. No, I'm going to kill these guys. All three of them. You ready for this? Yeah. How are those redemption stacks coming along for you? Let's not talk about that. Yeah, it's, it's uh. It's hidden. For I'm sorry. It's, it's <laughs> sorry. Oh, it is hidden. That's yeah, right. Yeah, uh, overlay. Yeah. Tactics. Okay. 
All Guys, right. his redemption stacks are at 11. <laughs> We're up there. I'm totally not lying right now. I, want to, I just want to kill everybody. Choose a talent. So level 20, we should get play the game. We haven't showed on the screen oh, yet. Oh, yeah. We do need to we need to do some plays to the game. I need to go bottom. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Nice. Nice natural agility. Thanks, man. What do I get here? So, um, that's great. Fleet of Foot's great if you want yeah. Stormbow build. Okay. Um, so I'd, I'd recommend off of that for this build. I think Ninja Assassin and Mirage Archery both great. I think you should go Ninja Assassin. All right. Um, if you hit a hero with your Q, you are going to lower the trait cooldown by like 10 seconds. Okay. Oh, boy. Get those autos ready, though. Oh, nice AoE stun. Oh, no. All right, got the kill, got the kill. Yeah, trait reset. Oh, you guys just lost two. Okay. Two that Jaina. Uh, you haven't killed Tracer. But you did just chunk her like crazy. Um, you Try might be in trouble. Nah, we got this. I'm just worried about your redemption stuff. I'm ready for plays, dude. Okay. Oh, you just lost ETC. Okay. Oh, and they got that one. Oh, there was another altar. There was double altar. I should have seen that. You know what? I think we should leave. What do you think? I think you can kill that tracer. No. Nope. Nope. I can't. Sorry. Sorry. Can you should cook for me more often. <laughs> so I don't make mistakes like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm a failure. It's okay. You're, you're learning. Hanzo's, Hanzo's a tricky hero. He is, man. It's yeah. interesting because like, I don't feel like I'm doing that much damage, but I look at him like, oh my god, I actually do he a lot of damage. He pumps out a lot of numbers. Right? Yeah. But I think he's definitely got a, a higher skill floor than most yeah. of our heroes. Right? He's not, um, you're not just going to pick him up and like, oh, look, I blew up the enemy yeah. team. Like, you really need to learn how to use that W, mm -hmm. you know, how to fire it backwards for the scatter arrows. you got to wear and tear him, it seems like. Yeah. Right. So, but there's uh, there's a lot of plays to be made with him if you mm -hmm. can unlock that potential. All right, I'm gonna go bottom here. We're gonna make some plays on this main wave. The one thing I'm like not doing very well is killing a minion and then getting that range and using that to my advantage. It's takes that. Uh, oh boy, you got some well. sappers coming here. Mm -hmm. What? I mean, uh, I know I can do totally through scatter arrow. I do nothing. <laughs> Yeah, you want to use those walls right behind you. Yeah. Or to your left, I should say. Yeah, and you have to, you have to. I actually highly advise sitting down in try mode with Hanzo and getting a feel for it. Getting thing. a feel for that scatter arrow. Yeah. And learning all the different ways. You know, it's very much like the Artanis um, QE combo. Sure. It's definitely something that, like you have to really think with portals. That's, okay. That's really the best way I can rephrase it. Yeah. See how I did that rounding yeah. as you hit that corner? Yeah, that was that that hot rounding tech. I'm always thinking about it. Like I do, I'm not at a point where you just like poof, just toss it out, you know. And yeah. then you always make that adjustment right away. Yeah. Uh, if any of you guys play a lot of billiards, this is the hero for you. Mm. Yeah. There's a tracer mid, and the rest are top. Your medevac is trying to backdoor that keep, which I think is an awesome play because it's so low. You can actually kill it before they got there. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed that on the medevac, you can actually see who is inside the medevac. So yeah. shout out to our UI team. Um, tower. Giant Heroes Slayer well might be good now. against the Haka. Flawless Technique is not bad either. They both work well. Uh, Flawless Technique is kind of like follow through. Mm -hmm. So every time you use your Q, and you, if your Q hits a hero, your next auto attack is boosted. And if your auto attack hits a hero, your next Q is boosted. So okay. you just want to be doing a lot of weaving of those on heroes. Let's see if we can do that against Tracer here. Yeah. Get a shield, pop it, knock her out. Yeah. Oh, well, that was your W. Yeah, I was trying to talk off of this, but didn't see that. Can insta give that shield. <laughs> uh oh, that ring. Oh, good. She actually missed the ring. Oh, you know what? Your uh, shield breaker is great for her ice barrier talent. Oh, wow. Whoops. Whoa. The map. No! We're, um, we're going to pretend that we did not see that. We did not see that. Avocado right now. We're going to do this. We're going to avocado. Yeah. Yeah, on it right now. I'm not feeling this anymore. Well, Jeez, um, is she untouchable? No, she's a god. I will just say though that you guys did get some sappers through on bottom. I don't know if you guys noticed it. Progress. Took him down from 32 to 29. There so there go. is something else there. Yeah, if you have any questions for Ken Eric, just hit at Trixler so it'll highlight it for him. And yeah, then yeah, it's very helpful. He'll be for down me. and drop it here. Why is your ult and cooldown? I don't know. Some bug, man. Why? Why Genji can jump whatever, but Hanzo only from the wall? Why didn't you give Hanzo the same jump? Well, they're different brothers, right? You know, Genji. He can double jump in Overwatch, but Hanzo cannot. But Genji can wall climb and Hanzo can't. So this is kind of to simulate that. He can jump, but it, it is a little bit more limited. We wanted to highlight the differences between the two brothers. That's why one is called Cyber Agility and one's called Natural Agility. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. 
Also, they're two completely different heroes, and so we felt like this one was okay for Hanzo. Oh, nice scatter arrow. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Yeah, we gotta get this map going. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We want to get the 20 so we can see that play of the game. I'm gonna do it. Five man kill. We'll come back. I believe it. I believe. Okay, let's see. Middle fort. We're on topic of this. Yeah, you're gonna need to get this keep. Got this one easy. And then we go top. Are there any small changes for Alex or Anna on the way to solo heal a bit better? Um, it's definitely something we're talking about. Uh, the live design, I, I shouldn't say we, I should really say the live design team. Um, they kind of tackle most of that stuff. It is definitely on our radar. Uh, we know we would like them to be very good solo healers. I feel like Strazzle is already, oh, I'm sorry, Trick. I want to give oh, you no, the elbow good. room. Here, Trick, why don't you slide over a little bit so that way you Get can. Get more focus? Yeah, and here, I'm going to tilt the monitor towards you just a little bit more so you can feel more on point with it. You're such a gentleman, dude. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, it is definitely something we're talking about in regards to Ana and Straza. You know, uh, they were built to be solo healers, so. I got, I got nothing to announce, though. Sorry. We have not, we have nothing new to announce, by the way, on the stream period. No, the only nothing. thing we're going to talk about is Hanzo. Hanzo Atori, man. For anything official that you want to learn about, if there isn't anything, twitch.tv or twitter.com slash blissheroesman. Yeah. Hit that Hit up. Hit them up. That's where we'll see it all. Our uh, lovely community managers are always on. There you go. You're starting to get the scatter arrow awesome. down now. Yeah. It just it just takes a little bit of time to get used to it because it's a completely new ability, right? You know, you've never had to think about playing billiards while playing heroes. I'm gonna go play pool right after this. So I can become a god to hero. All right, we have to kind of poke this, but then we gotta leave. All right. Oh, got it in. You went for it. I am here. I gotta use that better too. There's so many abilities I gotta use. Oh, there's still metal. We're good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You guys need to finish taking that town. Yeah. <laughs> They uh, might come back and pinch you now. Mm -hmm. Just tough. You guys didn't get that uh, that keep. All right, maybe we'll dive our fort and just die. That'd be nice. Yeah. That'd be very kind of them. So you guys are uh, remarkably. Oh boy. Oh wait a minute. What's the thing to do? Stun arrow. Uh, I, I think you should have held that stun arrow yeah, for when probably. Mosh was about to end. Like like you said, there's just a lot to learn on this hero. There you go. Using that trait to just kind of skirt over That's a wall. Force wall. I must have C. Oh no, it's our last four before we lose the game. We gotta hold this can defend it. Oh, oh triple that's altar. Great. That, um, that's, that's, great, that's hard. Honestly. That's hard. You guys are in a rough spot. Tracer wants to kill. I, I feel responsible for telling you to go redemption. No, no, no. no, no it's, on me. it's me learning the hero, right? Like, yeah, no, he's Q's tough. And he's tough. And uh, I also like keep moving forward like I have uh, auto attack speed like a Vala and I don't like this. Yeah, much so we lower. put that timer um, on the bottom left. You see that little arrowhead? Yeah. That's a timer to let you know when your basic attack is ready. Gotcha. Yeah. Interesting. So you can use that to kind of help you learn the timer as you're you know, learning how to get this. Yeah. That's a good game here. Yeah? Looks like it. Oh, wait, we'll do a like the MGG. And then we'll do one more here? Yeah, we'll do another game. And then we'll do one more and that should be it for us. Yeah. GG. Great heals. Yeah, man. That was sick. Redemption value? I know. At I'm redemption gonna, value. I'm going to get a redemption game, I promise you. I'm going to make it happen one of these days. Oh, a new version available. Please exit and patch from launcher. Oh, um, what just got fixed? Um. Oh, I think I know. Valyria nerf? Uh, no. I think this is a bug fix for Brightwing. Oh. You can teleport to enemies. We'll download this real quick then. Maybe. Yeah, it's downloading quickly here. I feel like I may have heard that. I'm going to look over at our community manager. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's some emergency bug fixes. Uh, fix a crash that would occur. Oh, after crashes queuing. are good. Yeah, uh, bright crashes are good. Yep. And then some Moro fix. Fix an issue which allowed mirror image to be cast during Blaze Storm. That sounds problematic. <laughs> that sounds a little crazy. <laughs> okay. okay. Easy patch. Then we'll go oh, yeah, easy. and uh, for uh, the Mole Hots, yes, we did get the Nazebo bug fixed. Um, I don't think it, um, I believe Asgaz posted yeah. that, that, that that did get fixed um, and that we would get it in the patch notes. I don't know if it got out yet. Fixed with yes, the, that uh, is fixed. Latest patch, I believe. That was a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> How is it when you guys hear those bugs? Do you just like panic a little bit? Or you're like, oh, oh yeah. We got there's this. a there's definitely a, a skip in the heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we'll quickly start looking at data to see, you know, like okay, a what's the impact it's having on the live service? Um, and then like, can we patch or do we have a patch coming? And then B like, okay, how how much is it actually impacting gameplay? Like, is it throwing win weights out of control yeah kind of stuff you know what's really funny though what's that like two days ago when it was still active i was playing against nazebo a ton but every nazebo is going ice block yeah so it's like you didn't even pick superstition <laughs> like 
<laughs> Some people don't even like uh, know what's going on. I, I don't that, think right? that they're aware. Yeah. Um, I actually don't even think the bug did that much, <laughs> but that's just me personally. Um, he kind of used to, that's what his superstition used to be anyways. Mm-hmm. It was like just a ton of spell armor all the time. So yeah, again, join channel Hanzo Mains. If you guys want to play with us, Trixler is uh, requesting that you be able to press buttons. Got hit too. Um, you, we got to make sure that you guys actually know how to use your keyboard before you hop in the game. Um, that's, that is an important qualification. Oh, that's a good question. How do you think, uh, or how does the team feel about the year of supports has gone? Uh, I feel like it's gone great. Uh, mm-hmm. We've gotten a lot of new healers into the game in the forms of Straza, Ana, Stuka, Lucio. I know there was a lot of um, questions about it in like June because it's like we only had Lucio and they're like, oh, I thought this was supposed to be the year of healers. Sure. It's like just, just wait, just wait. We got some, we got some more coming for you guys. How many came out this year? Was it four? Four. four? Yeah, four. Not bad, man. Yeah. Um, you know, just looking back over the past two years, I think we'd only had one healer in each year. I think mm. it was Morales and Ariel. Over those two each year, they were just the solo, the only solo healer we released. So we wanted to, we wanted to do something about that, and so. We tried I'm still to holding out for my idea of a stealthy support that leeches away from the opponent and then heals your teammates. That's what I want, man. I think that'd be sick. That sounds funny. That'd be amazing. All right, let's see here. Let me get our players in here. We'll do one oh, more game. Oh, I was going to tell you to go on to Cursed Hollow so you can solo boss. Mm. Can't you do the map? Uh, no, I can't. No, you're going to have to remake it. Sorry. We're doing it. I'm committed We're doing to this. It. Yeah. All right. If and you're watching the stream, you are not allowed to come kill me while I'm killing the boss or I'll throw a fit. He'll throw a fit. I'll He'll throw, throw a fit. tantrum. Mm-hmm. Just whine like crazy. All right, Cursed Hollow. Uh, redoing lobby. This is a full W build, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and you're gonna go the um, I forget what it's called at seven. It's where your AAs lower your W cooldown. Okay. And at four, you need to go serrated arrowheads. Um, and then once you hit sixteen, like siege giants become a joke. You can just take them so fast. So was that? I was having that fun. The that idea one. of soloing bosses was that something that you like? No, I was just totally randomly did. I just. That just kind of happened. Okay. Um, it wasn't like the intent of the design. Sure. Intent was so I wanted them to all be you know help you out with wave clear, mm-hmm. but do so in different ways. So the AA one let, helps you get that range poke in. So if you're holding a solo lane, yeah. Um, having that AA one, you can really bully people out of lane with your extra attack range and because your your weapon hits so hard. The uh, Q one uh, wanted to be for AOE clear on minions and lets you again with the piercing arrowheads lets you double tap lets you poke out heroes with that and then the W. I, I, I wanted something to give it, right, besides it just does bonus damage to minions. And so that's when we added merc- mercs and monsters, mercenaries sure. and monsters to the list, so that way it could have an extra utility of being good on jungle maps, such as Cursed Hollow. Cool. Well, I'm actually excited to see this. When can I do it at? Is it level 7? Do I have to wait past level 10? Uh, you need at least 7. At least 7 to do it. Yeah. Okay. And actually, I think the boss timers have been um, pushed back a little bit. Sure. Um, so I don't even think, like, it'll be on the, m- the boss will even be on the map until level 7. We'll find out, man. Yeah, I know lately, like, the biggest change that I've noticed with uh, the whole overarching game changes, um, <laughs> grabbing giants or night camps, incredibly powerful now. Uh, yeah. Especially yep. the night camps. Like, grabbing yeah, that those, spell aura on the night camps is pretty pretty tough. Put it with the soul laner, dude, and they just push like crazy. Absolutely powerful. Okay, waiting on one guy here, and then we should be good to go. I'm just going to kick this guy. Oh, no, I'm not. We lost... We lost our spectator. We could kick him and pick up this. Uh, I'm feeling it. Tyrion's yeah. not coming in. Let's see if Tyrion's coming in. Mm-hmm. I don't think you invited him. Tyrion? Let's do this, man. Oh, maybe not. Sometimes there's a bit of a delay. I'll invite him, too. Whoever gets yeah, we'll it see. first gets we'll it. see who gets it first. I just want to... Walk of the draw. Rush this boss now. Oh, there we go. We there got we Tyrion go. now. We in that. We are in there. Bum, 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 bum. Now make sure you get your spray to that gingerbread Genji. Oh, good call, good call. That'll help it's very important. I had it on the... It's under events. Oh, do you, do you even have it? Do you have, oh, there you yeah, go. You got, got it. This. He needs healing. Look at him. He needs healing. I love it. Uh, that's a shout out to Oscar, um, who does uh, a lot of our sprays. I love Oscar, I think he dude. did that one. I su- I'm going to assume he did. He's going to get the credit on this stream. Raspberry R, man. Follow him on Twitter. That dude just is it Raspberry Art? Is that Raspberry it? Art? He just he just breathes art, man. I, I I am so jealous of him. Like I feel like the drool on his pillow, like probably comes out looking like that. Like <laughs> dude just cranks out art, just and it's just art. all it's just like such talent. <laughs> I want. <laughs> I want that. Could you imagine having that skill? Like 
just being able to just think of anything and just put it onto a piece of paper. Like, it's, it's phenomenal. You know, but I will say this for any of you guys who are aspiring artists, like it can be attained. It's just going to take a lot of work, a lot of work and a lot of practice. Yeah. Um, if there's one thing I've, I've heard over and over again, it's just like, you know, it's, it's put in the hours. Right. Um, you know, I'm sure natural talent plays a large part of it too, uh, yeah. but you got to put in the hours. Yeah. You got to work on it. Yeah. I think that's like one of the two things that I'm jealous of that I wish I could do. One, I wish I could draw really well. Uh, art in general and then two I wish I could play piano really well which is something Ooh, that I just need to do I right? wish I wish I could play piano like, well too if you could just sit in the middle of a piano in the middle of a party and just start singing and people are just like that guy yeah he well that, that and you also you, you, you bring a gift to that party right yeah. you really um, you lighten up you can you, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome thank you for doing that just going in uh, yeah so okay let's talk about your talents real quick so you're gonna go the W talent sure and then simple geometry yep and then you're gonna go the double talent serrated arrows uh huh and then you're gonna go the W talent Never okay, outmatched. It's never outmatched. And then at 13, you have your choice of what you want to go. Okay. I might and do then, the mountain, I think. Yeah, try that. Okay. And then uh, at 16, I advise... Um, actually, Piercing Arrows and Giant Slayer are both good for W build. Okay. Uh, Piercing Arrows is great against like Siege Giants and Knights because sure. W pierces them twice. Okay. What's also cool about Piercing Arrows is it allows that initial arrow. That initial arrow also pierces once. Mm. So you can hit a hero, then it can hit the wall behind them, scatter, and then those can hit the guy too. So you can actually get an extra level hit in there. It's not much extra damage, but... Oh, avocado. Avocado. We're going to avocado here. You worked on Medivh too, didn't you? I did, actually. I did, the, I did do the design on Medivh as well. I guess what was that a year and a half ago, two years now? Yeah. I remember the uh, the summit meeting we had. Yeah, Dread yeah. Dread was like, Ken Eric. <laughs> that words were words were exchanged. <laughs> I'll just say that. He's very passionate about things. Yeah, we love yeah him. I, I, lo I love that passion. Yeah. You know. Ugh. Okay. I should probably go to Lane at some point. Yeah. Oh, I still need to pick my Oh, quest. you didn't pick the quest. Okay. I was busy dying. Jump. Yep. There oh, we, we go. This. I'm not even close. Hmm. That went better in my head. I feel like that's like half the things I think about when it comes to arrows. In my mind, that would have worked. Yeah, you can go solo bot lane. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's get down here. Yeah, like like I said, uh, Hanzo is not a simple character. Like, there's there's a there's a mastery curve to him. There's a real skill skill cap on him. Is that what kind of got you excited to like do this stream? Because you were yeah like, having yeah to I know it. I was I was really excited. Um, yeah yeah. If those of you don't know, I, I did I did ask if you know we could stream with Trick. Oh, well, you uh, streamed yesterday, actually. Yes. And for yes. those that want to see that, where yeah. can they see you? By the uh, way? Oh yeah, you can uh, check it out. It's a uh, Twitch.tv slash Centauric. Okay. Uh, you can check. I think the VOD from last night is, is still up because nice. that how Twitch works now. Yeah. Uh, I'm such a noob streamer. I, like I don't even know how to use OBS and I all mean, that stuff. You're pretty pro already. You got I got sound I got the soundboard. Yeah. That's that's all I got going for me. Um, yeah, you can check it out. I, I yeah. um, am hoping to stream tonight as well. Uh, okay. Stream some more Hanzo. I've definitely noticed because like I played him over lunch uh, during my lunch break. I bought him and I uh, was playing him, and I noticed that when I got on stream, like my my accuracy just tanked. <laughs> 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 you know, because I'm trying to you know engage with the chat. I love talking with you guys. Um, and I was just like, oh wow, that that really affected my abilities. <laughs> as I'm sure Trick is oh, well right. aware of streaming all the time. Like you're just your you know your attention is split. You'll get it. Like. I was watching yesterday. You're making me laugh. You're making some plays, dude. Yeah. You got this. So definitely check him out tonight. What time yep. will you be on? Um, uh, I'll probably be on around uh, six or seven p.m. PST. Kind of just depends on uh, you know uh, meetings here at work, and I gotta make myself dinner, <laughs> get home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. You know, life things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. RL. Oh no. Oh man, I. I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry. That was sad. I you know, I was sitting here thinking, you know, Senpai's probably proud of me. I'm making some plays here. I'm getting some scatter arrows. And oh, then it's... I'm going for this kill. Yep. Yep. And it just falls. It crumbles. Yeah. Okay. It's too bad. I'm sorry, man. I'm sad, dude. I want to cry. It's okay. Who is this dude? Tell them this about yourself. No, no, you. Oh, oh you are. Um, hi. My name is Kent Eric. Uh, I'm the lead hero designer on Heroes of the Storm. I've worked on this game for six years now. Um, I think October 10th was my six-year anniversary. Yes, I do Dang. remember what day I started. October 10th, 2011. Um, yeah, I make heroes, and I help our team that makes heroes. So for anyone, I, don't, I don't make very many heroes these days anymore. For anyone that just joined us, yeah, yeah hi, what welcome, is welcome. your roster of heroes that you led design on? Um, 
that's a, that's a, a few very them. long list. Um, let's hear. Give us a favorite. I didn't initially design Rhaegar, but I finished him. I think he was one. Uh, Jaina was one of my first heroes. Illidan. I then also did the redesign on Illidan back in Technical Alpha. Uh, Murky. Thrall. Oh, yeah, Illidan was redesigned, uh, wasn't he? Butcher. Leoric. Um, let's see here. I'm just trying to like think through the list. Varian. Cho'Gall. Uh, Medivh. Chromi. Li Ming. Um, Ana Hanzo this year. Yeah, Varian was last year. Yeah. So many, dude. Yeah. It's it's a long list. All right. Oh, Greymane. How can I forget Greymane? He was so awesome. You worked on Greymane? Yeah, I did Greymane. Nice. All right, I'm going to get kills here. I'm feeling right, this. Avocado. I am feeling myself right now. Let's do this. We're going in. Got it. Nice. Right, one more. Another kill. There you go. Okay. Oh, nice. Off the gate. That's my boy. All right. That's, that's an F3 moment right there. Yes. Oh. There we go. Obnoxious air horn for no <laughs> reason at all. Um, oh, you can actually hit F5 for yeah, some yeah, sultry. That Hanzo so hot right so now. So hot right now. I wonder if Cloakin ever talks to himself. <laughs> Do you ever wonder that? He should. If there's ever a person that could, yeah. it would be him. I, I could also see Ben Brode talking to himself. Yeah, totally. He has uh, quite the voice. Yeah, he does. All right, so I can solo now, right? Uh, did you grab the seven talent? I did. Okay. So I need um, a basic attack, right? You, uh, here, good. Rhaegar can help you. Yeah, take it. Uh, yeah. Hey, okay, so ping, ping the Rhaegar. Ping the Rhaegar. Yep. Rhaegar. Oh, hey. oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maybe not with the uh, mm, Kelsey's out there. Guy. Oh, no, that's not. their whole team. Yeah, that's more than I was bargaining for. It really was. But I'll take it. And remember, your autos are lowering the cooldown of your W. Oh, yeah, yeah. So call, it's call, up call. all the time. Just, just you might want to back out. You're really low. I'm not worried. I believe. You're going to make the plays, though. Look at you are You are baiting this ET. Oh, that oh, that Rhaegar heal <laughs> saved your life. <laughs> Thank you, Rhaegar. <laughs> okay, now you guys take boss. You'll okay. take Bob boss yeah, right now. And you are going to just blow yeah, it up. I'm so ready. Let's go. Okay. I'm feeling it. Let's. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can't move. And then, then now, now work in W Q's? again. W again. Don't even okay. work in Qs. Don't even work in Qs. Okay. Uh, you need to. Yeah. There you go. I need to get better at this. Like, yep. And then just throw it in no matter what. Yep. It's because you got the the pit, pit there. They're they're gonna basically all hit. Like look, those all hit. Okay. And then you can w again. Then you can W again. Awesome. You just gotta keep rifling the Ws out, and you can take the boss real quick. That's incredible. That felt nice. Ben Bro doesn't speak. He only laughs. I've heard this is true. <laughs> I have heard this is true. Pure fact. All right, we got a boss. Let's go do the other boss with them looking at us. All right, we really want to see play of the game. Okay. So let's go Dragon's Arrow, so that way we can try to see a play okay. of the game. This game's looking a little bit better already. Actually, you could probably set up uh, some scout. kill. Oh, oh look, he's trying to solo he the boss. Stole my th this is our play. Uh oh, they're they're all. C oh, oh, you did the short really jump. This is awkward. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> oh boy. Save me, Canary. Um, yeah, you. You kill that. Oh, wow. If that W had ricocheted. Nice! Air horn! Oh, man. I just keep changing my stream for the better. Oh, this my goodness. Let's do this. Okay, let's miss it. Let's, yeah, let's. Oh, my God. So you hit three way of those. more natural. Okay. Oh, no, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to get over there. You need, you need to give yourself that angle. Nope. That's not it. That wasn't it. <laughs> You want to maybe aim right there. It, no, that's not it either. That was, oh, actually, that, that works. That works. That, that works. That works. Yeah. Aim to your right. Aim to the. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, I see. Yep, there you go. Yeah, good call. Just got to play billiards. Some yeah, more. yeah, yeah. There you go. I got another Gosh. boss. Look at this. Yeah, doing such it. good boss control. I actually really like this build. This is the first pick for me on Crystal from now on. <laughs> and you can't stop me. You can't stop me. Sorry, that was my brief round. Really beautiful, honestly. Oh, you might want to get out of there. That's a glacial spike. Oh, he missed. You're gonna leap over that. Yeah, you're out of here. There you go. Oh boy, and a portal. Oh, you're you're um. Oh, you're one W hit away from uh, finishing your quest. Oh, by the way. Yeah. I got this. Nope. Nope. I don't got that. One more auto. Your W is up. Oh yeah, I got auto more. Yep. It's so different from the last build. Yeah. No, um, <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, it's good. It's such a <laughs> as, so as a game designer, uh, when working on talents, one of the things we really strive for is making sure that the hero, we want it to feel as different as possible while mm -hmm. still feeling like the same hero to yeah. your opponents especially. 
Um, yep, there you go. Take these knights real quick. And so to hear like, oh, it's so different, but it's still Hanzo. You're still doing the same stuff. You're just doing different versions of it. That warms my heart. Oh, you still have a knight. Oh, I'm all ready to move, dude. I'm feeling. I'm feeling the next move already. Yep. There you go. That's good. Can I get coached on every you new hero from now on? <laughs> like this is so much better than me playing 20 games and feeding until I find something. <laughs> this is so much better. Yeah. All right. We're gonna do this one. You can do Ninja Assassin or Mounted Archery. Those are both really fun. Fleet of Foot's not bad either. Um, better for with Q Quest though. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Let's do this. Mm. Well, you still haven't finished your. Uh... I still haven't finished. Did you, did you go Ninja Assassin? Oh, you went mounted archery. Okay. Yeah. That's, hey, that's great for making some getaways because then you uh, you instantly mount and Wait. your mount. Oh, what's happening? Oh, you only hit the. Oh, there you go. Got your quest. Remember, W's back up. Oh yeah, I need to get out more. Uh -oh. oh, does anybody have a stop for this? Nope. Maybe, nope. Oh, there's the cleanse. Oh, oh nice. Oh, their dragon. Oh, that was a really good enemy dragon arrow. Yeah, it was. I think that's a Hanzo so hot moment right there. That's one of these right here. That Hanzo so, so hot right now. Can that just become an announcing pack? Like, oh. you play Hanzo, and every time you get a kill, he just yells that? That should be I mean, Oh, I thought you were going to say, like, just a, a, a cloak and I mean, yeah, we pack. need that. I would, 100%. I would, I would, I would, I'd buy that. I'd buy that. And so the curse. Like, could you imagine just any hero that you get a kill on, and Kevin just, like, you're so hot right now? So, so you, hot right now. It's great. Oh man, too much fun. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. Reminder, this is the last game of the day. Uh, hopefully you learned a lot. If you have any final questions for Kent Eric, please oh, here's a, here's a tough one from Warmonger. Yeah. This one, I'm not gonna, I won't hide from the controversial. Here we go. I'm ready for Why it. did you think giving Varian a stun after his charge level four was a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> you're a year late. <laughs> but yeah, uh, oh boy, that one was tough. We had, happens, we had a lot right? of ambitions for Varian. That um, were hard to work out. You want to get out of here? Yeah, I definitely went out. I remember you uh, you mount as soon as you uh, you use your trade. Forget about that. Okay, yeah, you, weaving those here. W's. Ooh, triple tap. Triple tap and W oh, that's, build. Um, that's a hot. Oh boy. Oh, I hit D. Oh, I was not close enough to the wall, I think. Yeah, you weren't close enough. Oh, oh no! My God. Good job. Fun to that feels watch. bad, man. I watched all of that. That hurt. That was that was a nice piece dagger. Congrats. Oh, okay. Uh, Varian stun. <laughs> so we were trying to do a lot of things with Varian. Um, when you guys attended BlizzCon 2016, I actually went through a full discussion about how he was built and the way he was built, and how we were trying to make six different heroes in a single hero. Yeah. Which was a uh, monumental task, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that one was tough. Um, and so the idea was to make a really aggressive build and a very defensive build. Sure. And thus a shield wall, which uh, repeatedly I was told there's no way he'd get me to not take protected. Apparently I found a way. It was just too good. <laughs> but um, well, I'll, I'll be now. honest. On the charge, um, on the charge, we've, we we tried a lot of different things. We tried having it root. We tried having it just slow. We tried the stun, and we tried like, all these with different. Oh, that was that was a really good play. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it was gonna be sick. It was gonna be sick. It was gonna be sick. I was actually I was actually really proud of you in that moment. Like I'm if like, that would hit. Oh my gosh, you put those two together. Yeah, you can drag and arrow. Um, tribute. Giant Slayer's not bad, but I would definitely go piercing arrows, um, especially since you're trying to uh, do lots of uh, jungling. Okay. Piercing arrows okay. lets your W pierce one. Giant Slayer's not bad if they're running double bruiser, but they're not uh, or double tank. Yeah. Go take it. Go take your bar. Ooh, yeah, actually, right. you want to tributes in fifteen, and I mean, this is their the third. Cancel it, though. Okay. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they lose all their tributes because mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not worth anything. And we're chunking like crazy. Right? Yep. And now you don't have to worry about that W hitting the boss first. You can actually W through the boss now because your initial arrow will pierce. pierce. Okay. Yeah. Or you it's just do so that. So fast. You just do it so fast. Uh, so yeah, we tried like variant E rooted baseline, then stunned. We tried it slowed baseline and then rooted. We tried it slowed baseline and stunned, which is what we shipped. Yeah. Um, it was really tough though. To, um, it's really hard to balance. Um, you know, hey, uh, extra CC on this E versus protected. So, um, I'll just say mea culpa, which is my bad, in a way more sophisticated way. But we learned something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Uh, if you clear mid. Uh, you'll basically cancel it because you have a catapult top yeah. to keep that at bay for you. Uh, yeah, you. So here's a fun fun fact: your ricochet won't work on your gate, but it will on enemy gates because it is not collision for you. Oh, your team is taking boss right now. Yeah, they are. 
Oh, they don't. They probably don't need you. I'm always needed, Canary. You're always needed. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I say that like that. <laughs> oh, d nice. I like them outplay. I'm learning. I'm they actually gonna play this character tonight. I'm not gonna lie. Before I came into the stream, yeah, I was like, all right, Hondo's cool, but probably not my hero. I like this hero. Thank you. You did it. Thank you. That makes me you really happy. Me. Uh, it, yay. <laughs> Who else is convinced now because of Kinnick? <laughs> like, seriously. This is actually really amazing. There's just... There are plays to be made of them. Uh, maybe I made them a little too obscure yeah. when I did the design. Like, just yeah, we talk, we talk a lot about... Um, we actually, we, we we're talking about this on uh, the Hero Design staff about, yeah. like, you know... Um, you know, when do you need to, like, spell something out for players? Yeah. And when when do you want it to like let we them learned. discover it, right? And because some things you need to spell out, and some things it's way better if you let them discover it on their own. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like here I should have spelled this one out a little yeah. more. This one's I don't know because like from what I've been hearing from a lot of people is like just run Q build period. And once yeah. that like is the first initial impression, people are only run Q build. Yeah. They're not gonna try this stuff. I need to oh stop boy. This, don't I? Yep. Good. Good. Nice interrupt. Good to you. Like there's lots of uses for the dragon's arrow. Besides just wobble. And remember, uh, weave those W's because yeah. your cooldown so low. Well. And now you have piercing arrows, which can mean it'll wreck uh, enemy teams. Your W's up again. Oh my god, it's up all the time. Yep, it's just up all Attack the time, man. Lane, it's just up all the time. Oh, he missed his chain. That's a big deal. Yeah. You can, you can, oh, I bet you can jump over that little. Can I jump over this to mount? Yep. yep. Oh, I see. Yes. I didn't even think about that. I was yes. just trying to find a way to mount. Sorry. So I'm going to spell out more places. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, please do, because I was thinking about coming yeah. over here just to do no, that. No, you can you can jump over a little edge like that to, uh, for extra mobility, yeah. and especially with mounted archery again, because you have that mount right when you land, you can make some cool plays. So, yeah, look at you just destroy those siege giants. Um, uh, just don't give up the camp to ETC. Watch, watch the face melt. Oh, oh, he's oh you chunked him. Yeah, or your gray main also down. chunked him. Let's not steal Ooh. credit here. Hey, oh good, your Rhaegar got it. Oh boy, you're getting master's touch. Oh no, I'm trying to jump. Why can't I jump? Ah! Nice! That's an F3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Avocado, avocado. Right. Fudge! No! Oh man. That was, that was a good arrow back. Hey, you know what? You made an awesome play in that Medivh. We got to play of the game. Um, Hey, we, yeah, I think you guys might get the 20. Yeah. Especially since this you guys just died. Happen. Um, it means you're not gonna finish. That's why I actually the threw game there will. for the good of the viewership. That's what it was. There you for go. For the sake of the the play test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When is Imperius <coughs> coming to the Nexus? Never. There's your answer. Why didn't I give Hanzo talent to have a scatter or a ricochet on the ground? Um, because they would just remove the entire point and skill of the ability. Uh, we've learned this over time. Like, the fun of the ability is learning how to use it in creative ways. And yeah. if you just give the ability that just auto does it. We, we actually remove the fun, and so uh, something we're very conscious of. Those of you guys remember Greymane when we removed the auto explode on the Q on Greymane? Yeah. That was, there was some gnashing of teeth about that one. Um, but it, like, it removed the whole like play and counterplay of the ability. So. Yeah. Gotta make decisions. Oh, you have oh. dragons there. Oh, if your dragons are up and you have I'm play of the 20. game. I'm just, I'm just thinking of the plays that could be made if you guys were 20 right now. Like us going straight for Why didn't he use the tele on R? He doesn't have it yet. It comes at 20. Yeah, exactly. And because sometimes I just forget about things, man. I have amnesia There's, when I play this game sometimes. There is a lot to track on Hanzo. I know it doesn't seem like much, but because the cooldowns can get... There we go. We got to play the game now. Got it now. This is like We're ready to make minute. the plays. Is the boss soon? I'll pass up soon. We're a little... Oh, eight seconds. You're right. Good call. Good call. Okay. Let's do this. Shh. We're all whispering and stuff. <laughs> Secretly. We don't want the other team to know. No, uh, you know, Trick's team is just totally doing the standard stuff, continuing to apply pressure mid. You see the enemy team is responding to the pressure that they're applying mid. We just did 2,500 damage. The boss. I think that was 3,000. Yeah, it's um, it's it, pretty it, good. Is this getting nerfed soon? Yeah, do I need to exploit this right now? Is that what I need to do, Kenneric? It is way too soon. Uh, tribute's up. The question is, do you want to push with boss or go get tribute? I want to get the tribute. Well, is it, when's the next boss up? And then fly across the map. It's when's like in 30 seconds. Okay. Good yeah, yeah, yeah. Play. Tell the team that you'll get the, the tribute. You have a global. Oh, or you can do that too. Go start boss, I guess. It's not up yet for another uh, it's like 20, seconds. 20 seconds. Okay. Yeah. So I want them to position here. And then if they invade, I'll fly across the map. 
and make the play. There you go. There you go. Uh, I think you're gonna have to help him with the. Oh, oh, it's not even up yet. I was like, there anyways. It's going anyways. Oh. Um, no, don't do it. No. It's a waste. Save that almost that. hurt you. I did. <laughs> Your face I was, was like, like, please don't. <laughs> really, like it's just like you have mounted archery. Just hop over a wall and you're there instantly. Do you ever do that? Do you ever watch streams and you see a streamer do something and you're like, gosh, not don't do that. Please. Yes. Yes. All the okay. time. All right. All Especially on day watch releases. the ley line. Watch the ley line. Graham has got that. Yeah, that gray main was on point. It was. That was actually, I, and I liked the shadow fisher from Kel'Huzad, that was on point too. Yeah. <coughs> okay, let's do this. All right, let's do this. So if I hit All multiple right. people, I get extra damage as well, right? Um, yeah, it's not a ton of damage. Um, it's, it's like styling damage. Yeah. Uh, he shoots an arrow back at everybody. He sits with the sun. Where's your team? Your team needs to get over here. Actually, nice. set it up. Hey, here you go, here you go, here you oh, go. Okay, this is it. Oh my god. Remember, you got your W. Yeah. Get your Ws. Uh oh, there's a mosh. Oh, oh you got to stun on yourself. Ooh, insane force of will. That was a really good force of will. Yeah, it was. Oh, I did he not have reabsorption for the force of will? Yeah, he did. Yeah, but say, oh, he should have used it off the keep, your W. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's okay. Good call. I keep you on the right side. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget uh, the buildings leave their footprints behind, which you can ricochet off of. Oh, you are nuts. I love it. Uh, <laughs> That's my stream in a nutshell. <laughs> Oh, nice. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. You just lost two. You lost yeah, your healer. Leaving us. <laughs> Actually, their core is at 24%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could just kill Let's it. Let's go win the game. Um, Missed my scatter arrows. GG. GG. Well, Tim, I'm glad that we could show you Hanzo. Yeah. Show you some new plays to make with him. I know I'll be watching you tonight before I start streaming. Thank you, while I'm eating my dinner before I get ready. I'm going to try to save my voice so I can actually stream tonight. Well, <laughs> but that, I look forward to seeing the plays that you make today. Yeah, dude. Thank you so much for inviting me out here, giving me a chance to actually look at this hero and convincing me, honestly. <laughs> this character is a lot of fun now. And for those that want to know about this build here, again, W at 1, 2, and 3. Grab Dragon's Arrow at 10 for that sick play of the game at for level that 20. sick play of the game. Uh, I went with Mounted Archery. I actually like that a lot. That was yeah, really Mounted cool. Archery is fun. I think all the towns of 13 are great. They yeah. all have their uses. They're um, some are, yeah. Yeah. You just throw things out there. Just go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Um, so with that being said, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for yeah, being thanks, great. Yeah, And uh, let's go ahead and let Kevin Johnson get the last word before we leave. That Hanzo so hot right now. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. <laughs> See you guys.